Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Septima. This one is designed by Robin Hegedish and published by Mind Clash Games, who are helping sponsor this video. It's a one to four player experience that plays in roughly 50 to 100 minutes. Yes, and this is a game that is themed around witches and the witch trials. Mm -hmm. There's action selection, hand management, there's resource gathering, and of course, there's some witch trials. And so as per usual, we are going to start with a teach of the game and then go into our full playthrough. If you're interested in jumping around, we'll include timestamps down below. But we also want to mention that everything you see here is considered a prototype, including some of the rules. So things are subject to change in the final copy. If you are interested in this campaign, there will be a link as well in the description. Plus, if you do like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And I think we're ready to begin. Let's do it, yeah. So if you please direct your attention to the set of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of Septima. Mm -hmm. Welcome. To, uh, the town. to the town. Yeah. Well, really, the town, as well as the surrounding forest, where we're going to be collecting ingredients. Mm -hmm. And so, just to kind of give you the lay of the land, we already introduced the board, but each player also has their own player board that's going to host all of the main witches in their coven. We start the game with two uh, witches in our coven, and one of them is our leader, while the other one is our apprentice, and they all have special abilities, depending on who you have. But we do have a maximum of four that we can hold. Our entire coven is also represented by our player piece, uh, which is on the board already, and we're going to be using our player piece to kind of walk around the board, collect ingredients, and do the things that witches do. Because in this game, we're trying to prove our worth to become the next Septima, the next high leader. And in order to do that, we have to do things that witches do, such as heal patients, brew potions, uh, make charms, but we have to do it in secret. Mm -hmm. Because if you notice, on the board, we also have witch hunters, and these witch hunters are patrolling their own zones. We start the game with three of them on the board but over the course of the game we're gonna have five all five so it's some scary business and so the game is played over the course of one year and the year is divided up into four rounds or seasons so we're starting here in the fall yep and each season is divided into five rounds where we're going to be taking actions and you can keep track of those rounds with the outer ring right here yes these are the different phases of the moon so yes. they go from here all the way around to the five spot exactly and so the season ends once this tracker goes all the way around uh, after the fifth round and at the end of each season we're going to have a witch trial one or two of them actually mm -hmm. and that's what this area of the board is supposed to represent over here we also have the right board and this is only used in the advanced game which we are going to be playing today and we'll show you how that works as well. Now, the way that the game works is each round, we're going to be going through all of these different steps. And it looks like quite a lot, but it's actually not that many. It helps you keep just track as to where you are in the game. And so we're just going to go through these briefly so you have an understanding as to what you're going to be seeing during our playthrough. But just note that we're not going to go through every single rule because we're going to be doing it all during the playthrough. Mm -hmm. Now, at the start of each round, we're going to start by placing out these two Septima tokens, which will make sense in a second. These kind of represent uh, some actions that are ideal for the Septima to take, I suppose, mm -hmm. during that round. Yep. Then you move on to the next step, and this is kind of where the meat and potatoes of the game is. Because it's where all players get to take their action for the round. And so the way that this works is each player has their hand of identical action cards. And so each player is going to simultaneously select an action card from their hand, and then we're going to reveal them at the same time. Mm -hmm. This step is selecting a card, this step is revealing. See? These are really quick. Quick. So I've chosen mine, mm -hmm, and then we reveal. Okay. And then we move on to the next step, which is where we actually take the actions and resolve the action card that we played. And so each card looks exactly like this, where there's a symbol at the top left-hand corner of the card that represents the specific action type that you're taking. Mm -hmm. And these symbols are also represented on the right board as well as on these Septima tokens, because in addition to the main action that's listed on the card itself, whenever you play a card that matches either somebody else's card around the table or the Septima, you also get to take the bottom action, which is the matching action. So in this example, I played my collect card. I've also matched with the Septima, which means I will get to do both of these things. I do want to note briefly that this is for two player. In higher player counts, you only get to match with the rightmost uh, token. Matching is great, but not 100% great, mm -hmm. which you'll see in a second. There's cost benefit. Yes. And so now, starting with the first player, we're going to be resolving the actions on our cards. So let's just discuss each action really briefly so that you have an idea as to what we're going to be doing. Sure. The most basic type of action is the move action, and this allows you to move up to four spaces with your pawn. I do want to note that every time you take your action, the very first thing that you can do is you can optionally move one space for free. 
not with any action that you take. Mm -hmm. So we already did a bit of setup. So this is where I'm going to be starting on the board. But before I take my action, I can move to an adjacent space. So you're going to be moving along the uh, edges of these hexes. Mm -hmm. Matching with the move action also lets you collect an ingredient from an adjacent hex during your move. And so if you notice, each hex has these uh, symbols on them. These are the different types of ingredients that you're going to be seeing throughout the game, which we're going to be collecting to make into potions and such. You'll see stuff like berries, herbs, mushrooms, sometimes crystals, skulls, stuff like that. The next type of action we have is collect. This is the one that I was uh, kind of demonstrating. Sure. And so collecting is just allowing you to collect ingredients. But the one thing about this card is you're mainly collecting lunar ingredients. And what I mean by that is we're going to consult this lunar uh, track over here, which of course is going to uh, rotate from round to round. And the lunar ingredients are only the two ingredients that are on the opposite sides of the tracker. So in this first round, the only ingredients we'll be able to collect using this card are the herbs and skulls. And again, these are from adjacent hexes. So you have to be next to the hexes uh, of those ingredients that you want to collect. Mm -hmm. So if I were here, I would be able to collect two herbs because that is a lunar ingredient, as well as a crystal. So crystals are going to be worth one point each at the end of the game, if you have any of these left over. But more importantly, these can be spent as a wild ingredient. So anytime you need to spend an ingredient, you can instead spend a crystal. Mm -hmm. These can also be collected using this action, regardless of where the lunar tracker is. And then matching action lets you collect one non-looter ingredient from an adjacent hex. The next type of action is brewing a potion. So we're collecting ingredients. What do we do with them? We brew potions, right? That's what witches do. And so we each have our own uh, player aid that tells us all of the different uh, ingredients needed to make which types of potions. Mm -hmm. There are two main types of potions in this game. There are remedies, three types, which help you heal the sick. And the remedies come in three colors. There's a green for uh, the plague, I believe. Yep. Blue for a paralysis remedy, as well as pink for the blindness remedy. And we're going to be going through all these potions as we play. But in addition to those, there's also the practical potions that you can spend during this action uh, phase to do things like move your witch pawn to any empty space on the board, um, lower your suspicion, which we'll talk about, receiving the collective bonus, even if it didn't match, and stuff like that. Now taking this action allows you to brew up to three of those potions. And matching allows you to replace one ingredient with a different one during your action. So that can be quite helpful. Yeah, like a free swap. Once you've brewed your potions, the next type of action here allows you to heal. Mm -hmm. So this is the action that you take when you are adjacent to uh, certain patients that you have potions for, and it lets you heal up to two adjacent patients. So that is why I placed my, uh, my marker in between these two. So healing patients is one of the ways in which you can score points. It's one of the major ways, actually, because every time you heal a patient, you're going to move your uh, corresponding patient token up your patient tracker up here. So in this example, if I healed the pink and the green, then I would move both of these up one. You would get immediate bonuses as depicted on the actual tracker itself. But at the end of the game, you're also going to score points for each of these patients, depending on how far up on each track you are. So if I were to end the game like this, which definitely would not happen, <laughs> I would be scoring two points. One point for this one, one point for this one. In addition, every time you complete an entire row, so if it were to actually look like this, then I would score seven points per completed row. So if I were to end the game like this, I would get four, five, six, plus seven, mm -hmm. so 13 points. Right. And as you can see at the very top here, you score 25 points, so it's quite lucrative. The matching action allows you to put a citizen from the crowd into any trial chamber. Just keep that in mind, but we're going to talk about the trial in a moment. And that moment is now, because <laughs> the next type of action is recruiting. And so this all has to do with the trial. Like we were mentioning, at the end of each season, uh, one or two witches are going to be on trial. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be moving citizens from this uh, crowd pool into the chambers. At the start of each season, we're going to put two hostile and two neutral citizens into the crowd. Mm -hmm. And these are going to represent some of the townsfolk that are for or against witches. <laughs> They're going to make up the jury eventually. Yep. And I, I want to note that the number of hostile and neutral citizens is dependent on player counts. Mm -hmm. so that's why we put two each. So taking this action allows you to add a loyal citizen to the crowd. And loyal citizens are the player colored ones. So this is another way in which you score points. But adding them to the crowd just means you're putting it in here. It doesn't actually add them to a trial chamber. And of course, matching this action just lets you add an additional loyal citizen to the crowd. Now, if you want to move citizens from the crowd into a trial chamber, you have to play your plea action card.
card, mm -hmm. which allows you to do just that. So if I were to play this card, I can move my own loyal citizen if I wanted to into this trial because that'll increase my chances of the witch having an innocent verdict as well as me just winning the trial, mm -hmm. which we'll talk about in a second. Matching this action lets you remove a hostile citizen from the crowd and score two wisdom. Anytime you see the word wisdom, that means points because at the end of the game, whoever has the most wisdom will be the winner. And those are about all the actions that have to do with placing citizens in the trial area. We'll talk about resolving the trial in a bit. So the next type of action is called right. And this has to do with the right board. This action allows you to advance one step on the right track. So each player is going to start at the bottom most area here. And over the course of the game, we're going to be climbing this right track, kind of zigzagging through, uh, depending on which symbols we're matching. And again, this is an advanced game component. But mm -hmm. basically what this board allows you to do is it allows you to gain these charms. And charms are essentially like one-time use, uh, really powerful benefits. Yeah. So just so you know, it's going to be things like before or after your action, move to any free space or healing light, which is my personal favorite, <laughs> that says heal up to two adjacent patients with one matching potion. So as you can see, these can be quite lucrative and there's always gonna be two face up per type. Anytime you land on a space that has these crystals, then you gain them. And anytime you land on these banners, these will allow you to either gain a charm or refresh a charm. Because once you spend a charm, it just gets tapped. You put it sideways. And anytime you get to refresh a charm, you untap it to be used again. So if you can manipulate the right board well, then it could be quite useful. And at the very, very top of the boards here, anytime you kind of have to bump up, you just score an additional three points. And matching on a right action lets you refresh a charm without even having to go to these banners or gain any one ingredient. That's pretty nice. Yeah. And when gaining a charm, such as when you cross this area here, you can only gain a charm of that specific type of a column that you're in. So if you really, really wanted, say, healing light, then you better be in the green section right. when you go to gain a charm. Mm -hmm. The next type of action is called Remember. So this allows you to perform the main ability of any card in your discard pile, because whenever we play our action cards, you're going to play them into a discard, and you cannot pick up your cards um, until you play your transfigure card mm -hmm. or until the end of the season in the... Um, in the base game. Mm -hmm. The matching bonus lets you add the collective bonus to the chosen action. And that's collective matching bonus are the same thing. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we have Transfigure. So this is a an action card that is specific to the module that we're playing. Right. And the module is called Shape Shifting. It has to do with our different uh, animals. So I'm playing as a purple player. My animal is a cat. Mm -hmm. I can transform into a cat. Playing this Transfigure action literally just lets you swap places with your animal um, version of yourself. The significance of your animal uh, really is that you don't gain suspicion, which we haven't really discussed yet. Mm -hmm. um, but the only issue is you can only play certain types of action cards while you are in your animal form. And the type of actions that you can play are, are different depending on who you are. One of the four different types of actions that you can take are also augmented by being in your animal form. So these will vary, but uh, being in your animal form is quite useful. The other issue though with being in your animal form is your animal replaces your leader and so I kind of mentioned it briefly in the beginning, but each of your witches in your coven has a special ability, which we'll probably discuss as we play the game, but only the leader as well as the apprentice. So these two positions are the ones that you can actually utilize. When you turn into your animal, the animal covers up your leader. So you cannot use their ability while you're the animal. Right. And those are all the different types of actions that we're going to be taking. Now, once everybody has gone around and resolved their one action card for the round, then we're going to move on to the next step here, which has to do with the right board. Mm -hmm. In addition to being able to take that collective bonus for matching the symbol either with another player or with Septima over here, you also get to move up on the right board as long as the symbol of the card that you matched with is in one of the two next uh, spots for your token to, to move to, or it can be blank. So if I matched on this turn with Naveen, then I can move forward. And then on, in a future turn, if I were to match either with this specific card or that one, which I believe is a transfigure card, mm -hmm. then I get to move up as well. Yep. Once that step is done, then we move on to the next one, which is where all of the trouble begins. Yes. F, G, and H are oh. the big trouble spots for the round. It's all nice until this point. Yes. <laughs> and so anytime you match with a player or with Septima, you're going to increase suspicion because like we were mentioning earlier, you have to do things that witches do, but you kind of have to do it in secret because you don't want to get caught, right? Mm -hmm. And so the left side of your board here is the suspicion tracker. At the start of the game, you start with zero, but we are starting with two because that uh, has to do with the module that we're playing with. And during the round, if you match with another player, then it increases your suspicion by one. If you matched with Septima, that increases your suspicion by two. 
And so the reason why this is bad is because any round in which you raise suspicion, you're going to get the attention of the corresponding witch hunter in your zone. So if you can kind of notice, there are um, six different zones spread out across the board, and you can kind of tell where the zones uh, start and stop by the color of the spaces. So right now, I'm in zone number three, because I'm on this uh, red spot which means this is my corresponding witch hunter. If you raise suspicion in a zone like this one, where there is no witch hunter, then nothing actually happens until later. Right. However, if your zone does have a witch hunter, then you have to roll this die. And each face shows a certain amount of suspicion that you have to add to your track. There is one die face, though, that shows just a sleeping eye. Mm -hmm. And if you ever roll this symbol, that that just means nothing happens, you are safe. You got lucky. That's the best roll. Yes. Let's go ahead and roll this. Okay, sure. So let's say Naveen were to raise suspicion in his zone. There yes, you go. And my suspicion is at five. Uh -huh. I would roll the die. Oh, nothing. nothing would happen. Okay, roll it again. <laughs> Which is good, meaning I'd, I would not get caught. Okay, yes. but if I rolled it and that didn't happen, zero would augment my suspicion right here. Right. So he would add zero to five. And then what happens is you would now go to the witch hunter and you would count how many uh, spaces away the witch hunter can see from where you are. So this would be one, two, three, four. My suspicion level is five. I would be caught. It's actually worse than that because the witch hunter can see here. Oh, yeah. So it's really just one, two. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Either way, Naveen is caught. Either way, anytime caught. you get caught in this game, you lose your leader. Coven leader. The leader goes to the second trial chamber. So this is the way in which we can have a second witch on trial. You don't want to lose your witches mm -hmm. because not only do you lose their benefit, but you also lose a, the ability to score your divination card. Because during setup, each player is given a random divination card which details four different types of endgame scoring conditions that you can try to meet. But you can only score a certain number of these depending on how many witches you still have at the end of the game. Right. So if I only have the two that I started with, maybe then I can only score two of these conditions and I get to choose which ones. Yeah. Each card is gonna have a five, a 10, a 15, and a 20 criteria on them. And again, this only happens whenever you raise suspicion That's in right. a round. Now, if you are an animal, just like I am, animals never raise suspicion mm -hmm. because they're animals. They're, <laughs> they're, not, they're not really onto them. So if I matched during the round where I am my cat, then I do not raise suspicion. And if I don't match, then my suspicion actually goes down. Yes. So that is the other benefit of, of being an animal during the, during the round. Once everybody has resolved uh, their suspicion, then we go into the final step, which uh, if there are any inactive witch hunters in a zone, then you just stand them up. And finally, if you are in a zone that does not have a witch hunter in it and you did raise suspicion, then you move the closest witch hunter to that zone. So now in the next round, if you raise suspicion there again, you have the possibility of getting caught. And that's about it. At the end of the round, then anybody who is an animal can decide in that moment if they wanna switch back to their witch uh, self and you can do that immediately. You move the round tracker so that there are now two different new uh, lunar ingredients and then you begin again. And the last thing is there are these three buildings in the town and they let you do, uh, they basically augment certain actions as long as you're adjacent to the building. Now, at the end of the season, the first thing that happens is any of the patients that were not healed will gain a hostile citizen, which is these red uh, meeples. They're gonna get one placed on top of them. And uh, if the next round, nobody heals that patient, then the patient gets removed and the hostile citizen gets added to the chamber and mm -hmm. you do not want hostile citizens in the trial then we're going to resolve the trial but before we do we add additional hostile citizens depending on where everybody's suspicion track is you're going to count the lines that are underneath the marker and so in, in my on my board i have two of them and you have i would have three. Oh my gosh so we're gonna add a total of five hostile citizens to this chamber not good or to this crowd sorry and then we resolve the trial so actually at the start of the season this uh this witch should be face up so that we know who is on trial and anybody who is left in the crowd is going to get placed into a bag and from the bag we're going to fill in the rest of these spaces it's going to be dependent on player count so in a two player we're only going to go up to here so it might look a little something like this. And then with the leftover pieces, we would also fill in the second chamber over here. And then we're gonna determine if this witch is guilty or innocent. For every loyal citizen, and it doesn't matter who whose player it belongs to, mm -hmm. it's gonna be worth one point. Hostile citizens are negative one, neutral citizens are zero. So for this trial, it's gonna be one plus one is two, minus two, and then these are zero. So it's gonna be zero. zero. Any trial with a result of zero or less, is a guilty verdict. Mm. And so what happens is this witch gets discarded, nobody wins the witch, 
and uh, they're going to go to prison. We don't, know the, we don't know the sentencing of Randall. And each player who has a loyal citizen in the chamber is going to get one point per citizen. So in this example, I would get two points, or two wisdom. Right. If it looked something like this, okay, fine, you want to yeah, get in there? Yeah, I'll get in there, why not? <laughs> Where the, uh, the result was a positive number, so in this example, it looks like it's positive two. The witch is innocent. Whoever has the most influence in here, which would be me, the purple player, because I have two to Naveen's one, I would actually get the witch, and the witch would join my coven in one of these uh, these spots. So now, at the end of the game, I can score one additional criteria on Correct. my divination card, right. and each meeple in here would be worth two points. Mm -hmm. So I would score four points to Naveen's two points. Whoever won the witch, though, must remove their loyal citizens and put them back into th their supply, while everybody else gets to place their citizen into the crowd to be placed out again into a future trial. Yeah, thereby saving one entire step uh, in the next season. Yes, exactly. And then all of these would go back in the bag because we replenish them at the start of each season. And that's about it. At the end of the fourth season, then we go into the end of year steps. And that's essentially just end game scoring. You're going to get one point for every leftover potion and crystal. You're going to get points for your patient track, points for your divination card, and five points for having the most uh, leftover loyal citizens in the crowd, and three points for having the second most. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, whoever has the most wisdom points wins. And that's essentially it. Now we're going to go ahead and get cleaned up and then get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we have reset the board. We are ready to go. We've already determined kind of some of our starting stuff, so we're going to go over that right now. Yes, at the start of the game, before you play, uh, we are given three of these witches. You choose two of them mm -hmm. to be your leader as well as your apprentice. Yep. And we didn't mention it during the teach, but at the end of each season, you can rearrange your witches. Mm -hmm. We also start with two of these prologue cards that help determine uh, what your starting resources are. And so you can kind of configure them in any way like this. And dependent on which way you configure them, so for me, I did it like this, you get three of whatever the top is, two of the middle, so I have two crystals, and then yes. one of the bottom. So that's why I start with a loyal citizen in the crowd. Uh, same kind of thing for me. So I did uh, three of these type of resources, two of these type of resources, and one of these yellow potions. You got a potion already? I did get a potion. Nice. So I could have configured it where it was something like this, meaning I would have gotten two potions and put one of my... Uh, citizens out there, but right. I chose this way instead. We also predetermined turn order, so Naveen will be going first mm -hmm. because uh, dependent on turn order, you choose your starting space on the board, so I'm starting here, as well as your starting space on the right track. And in addition, you also get a starting charm. So for me, mine is Healing Dream. At the end of the season, I can heal a remaining patient without even spending a potion or having to be adjacent. But again, this is just a one-time use nice. yeah. until I retap it. Uh -huh. So that's mine. That's good. Uh, I have a Widow's Song. Before slash after your action, I can gain two wisdom, meaning two victory points, yeah. for each patient you heal until the end of the season. So I'm going to want to get this in play if I know I'm going to be healing a lot of uh, patients. Right. And of course, we have our randomly drawn divination uh, book of divinations, which we'll discuss at the end of the game. Yep. And I believe that's everything. So are you ready to begin? Yes, I am first player. I am using the designated <laughs> popcorn first player yes. marker. This, this will is, change in the final copy this of the is game. Prototype. This yes. is uh, this is something that we just decided to have fun with. So. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start in fall, and we're here in round one. Uh, before we start with the main actions, we're going to do a little bit of preparation. Mm -hmm. So we're going to skip the first two steps that have to do with placing patients out and flipping over the uh, the witch on trial. Now we're going to fill the crowd with a hostile and neutral citizen. So again, that's two and two because we're playing a two-player game. That's right. So here's the two white and then the two red. Red, mm -hmm. of course, is hostile. All right, perfect. Great. Right. And then you're supposed to shuffle these and deal them out. So would you like to reshuffle them? Uh, or are you like just want to leave it like that? We can shuffle them. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it, since that kind of determined some of the things that we uh, did. All right, all shuffled. All right, then. We can now begin with A. So A is just laying out Load the two Septima tokens. Okay, so we have the game. Heal and Transfigure. Okay. Ah, oh, if you want to try Transfigure so, now. Oh, yeah. Which uh, I don't think we want Not to Not the do that time. Yeah, yet. okay. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> all right, moving on to B. So now we're going to select our first action of the game, which is going to be fairly uh, straightforward for me. We can also discuss this openly yes. with players in case right. you want to to plan a, a match. Naveen, are you thinking about collecting? I'm I know I am. I'm definitely thinking about collecting. All right. All well, right. then I think we know what we're, we're doing. Ready? These are not binding, though. You can lie to somebody and be like, yeah, I'm going to collect. <laughs> They're going to put themselves in harm. Don't lie to me. Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, three. Collect. Reveal. All right. Okay, so that's C. 
And then now we're going to move to D. So starting with Naveen. Yeah, so I'm the first player. I know that because we matched, my suspicion's going to go up. And this witch hunter will be very suspicious of me here. Sure. So I kind of strategically planned myself to be here and have my free move into a yellow zone where I know there's no witch hunter. Ah. So now uh, I'm going to take the action, which is collect all the lunar ingredients from adjacent hexes. Of course, uh, herb yeah. or skulls, yeah, so and skulls, and skulls, and crystals also. So can right. I have one crystal? Sure. And one herb. Yep. So the the resources are next to you. Yep. Thank you. Because we have played the same type of symboled card, we are going to get the collective bonus, which is additionally collect a single non-lunar ingredient from an adjacent hex. So I can either take these berries or that mushroom. I already have a mushroom here, so just for diversity, I think I'm going to take these berries. Nice. Wow, you have a lot of ingredients. I do. <laughs> I mean, you have you. Have, stuff <laughs> and you're gonna get some yeah i heard that pause yeah. all you're right get some. are you done that's it and also if you notice the ingredients are silk screened mm -hmm. um the tokens for the phase as well as the moon and the season tokens are also going to be six free silk screened a mm. lot of these components are going to be a lot uh more upgraded yep. when in the final copy of the game as well as the art on the on the main board so you'll see some improvements uh before the final copy all right so now to me and i'm going to be doing something very similar because i also really like that strategy of moving to a zone with no witch hunter sure so that's my free move and then i'm going to collect the lunar ingredients which is just going to be uh the herbs so can i have two herbs please as well as one crystal two herbs and a crystal you have the crystal thank you and then my non-lunar ingredient is just going to be i think just the root the root yeah yeah so i can have one root sure please. so and now I have, you have yeah stuff. See? <laughs> that's true and crystals which yeah. is pretty much any stuff i had uh envious eyes there it's just wait so. your turn is what you mean <laughs> that's it yes we're moving on to e because we both matched uh, with our action here, we can both move up this right track, seeing as all of the options here have no symbol on it. So starting with you, Naveen, which direction would you like to go in, here or here? Yeah, so, uh, so I'm a little uh, kind of disappointed that uh, I started here uh, because the collection is right there. So if I go here, I only have one track to go because I know I'm not going to match on that. So sure. uh, I will unfortunately do that, though. Can we go there? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'm going here. <laughs> okay, maybe we can meet because... somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right, moving on. We both matched, so we, we must gain suspicion. Mm -hmm. Now, because we matched with each other, then yep. it's only one suspicion. Yep. So now we're both at three. Um, anybody who raised suspicion has to roll the die uh, if there is a witch hunter in their zone, because neither of us have one. We're going to get to skip this step. That's right. And we move on to the final step, which is going to lure a witch hunter to our zones. So because Naveen is in zone four over here, the uh, witch hunter from zone three is going to move to his zone because it is the lower number between the two. Mm -hmm. And then similarly, I am now in zone two. So this witch hunter is going to come try to find me. Yes. So the best place to go run to is up there. That mm -hmm. way. And that's it. That's mm -hmm. the entire first round. Yep. We're going to move on to the second round now. So now we have a different combination of lunar ingredients. Okay. And this is going to start all the way back at A. Yes. So uh, can we have a new Septima token, please? New Septima token. So the heal goes out out if you transfigure now you're going to raise double suspicion although you won't you won't because, because you're you'll transfiguring be... exactly right, so then we're nice. going to flip over right so the candle is the right so if you select one of these cards um then you're going to get some suspicion right, right. oh i said <laughs> yeah. r-i-t-e okay i think i know what i'm going to play so we're moving on to b yeah I, and i know what i'm, I know gonna, what play. I'm gonna play I'm do you know what yeah gonna... i know what i'm gonna play are you, are you interested in discussing it I don't know if I want to discuss it. Okay. I, yeah, I don't know if I want you to force me to, to do something raise else. suspicion. <laughs> All right. Does that make sense? I, I'm okay with that. All right. Ready? Yes. One, well, let's move this. One, two, three, reveal. Oh, thank you. Ring. Okay, good. Okay. You're going to become so, your cat self. I am, and I'm matching with Septima, so Whoa. that's going to be nice. But starting with you, go for it, Naveen. So I did not want you to brew right now, even though you have all those ingredients, because I get a free move. So I'm going to go right up next to this building, and mm -hmm. this building allows me, when I take the brew action, mm -hmm. to swap out resources to make the types of potions I want to. Mm. Uh, I did not want you to play brew because that would raise suspicion. I'd be then at four, and then it's just one, two, three away, with, and I'm at a die roll. Sure. So before I brew any potions, I know I'm going to be able to make these into something. So I just want to okay. change this skull, using my little handy-dandy sheet, <laughs> into a, another um, herb. So okay. Because I'm using the building. So right. I'm going to turn that into an herb. 
And I think that's what I want to do right there. You don't, okay, you can do, you can switch up to three. I can ingredients. switch up to three, but I I have you like the, the ingredients perfect. that yeah I think I have the combination I want. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and brew based off of uh, this little potions list here. Okay. So I know I want to brew a blindness remedy as well as a plague remedy. So let me go ahead and just pay those right now. Mm -hmm. Plague remedy is herb and mushroom. Those go out. So if you don't mind handing me one of those. Oh. Sorry, That's the I green one. Herb and or much, oh, green, okay. Yeah, and then I'm doing the blindness, which is the berries and the root. So then that's another one. That's a pink one. The pink one, yes. Okay, here you go. Thank you. And in the uh, final copy of the game, there's going to be a game trays insert that's going to mm. hold these potions. We just mm. kind of combine them all into two bowls. And, and while I'm here, I might as well uh, create one for the blue, which is going to be the skull and that transitioned or changed over shrub. It's a herb. Herb. <laughs> Shrubs. What is a transitioned shrub? Well, I, I switched the skull into it. I, I did a little, you know, oh, something, something. I like that. And then there we go. So I have loaded myself up with potions. Very good. So now it's off to you. All right. So that's it for your turn. That was you it. You brewed three potions. Yes. And I do not have a, a bonus at the bottom. Right. Okay. So then it's going to go to me and I played my transfigure. Um, I can do one movement if I'd like. So I'm going to do my free uh, move. Okay. I'm going to move here. Okay. Now I'm going to take my action. I replace my pawn with the animal form. And oh my gosh, I just realized we never went over our witches. Sure. Let's do it. So my leader is Elana, And Elana, uh, when I take the remember action, which is the action that allows me to take an action from a discard pile, mm -hmm. I always get the collection bonus. Very nice. Um, my apprentice is Edith. And so Edith says whenever I cure a patient or I treat a patient, I can move a different tracker up instead of the corresponding color. Um, and again, both of these uh, abilities are in play. Gotcha. Yeah. Auto over here. If either I play the move or recruit action card, then I get to move one of these witch hunters and make them inactive. Which is mm, really nice. That is nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, and then Hazel here helps with healing. So anytime I play the heal, uh, wherever my uh, witch pawn is, I can heal from one hex away. So I don't have to be right next to the patient. Right. Just for one patient. For though, one of right? the patients. That's why there's a one hex on that. Okay, that is nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I'm going to replace my pawn with my animal form, a cat. Wow. I am a cat. And now... <laughs> The cat is going to cover up Elana here because I don't have access to her power. Okay. Uh, because I matched. Oh, I didn't match. Oh, yes, I did. You did. Because I matched with Septima, I can move up to four spaces with my pawn. So I will do that. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Where you Try going? to get away from this zone right now, <laughs> seeing going? as the witch hunter is there. Mm -hmm. That's my turn. So we move over here. Uh, I think I'm the only one who, who matched. You matched, yeah. So I matched with Septima which means I get to move up on the right board. Mm -hmm. And there is that, uh, the transfigure it's symbol. It's like you knew what you're doing. It's like I knew. Yeah. <laughs> so moving up there. And now uh, anybody who matched, which is me, has to raise suspicion. I am a cat. So I don't actually raise suspicion when I match. Right. Had I not matched at all, then I would have gone down in suspicion. Mm -hmm. But that is not the case. And of course, if you match with Septima's rightmost token, you actually go up to suspicion. Right. So you don't have to worry about that right now. Which means we get to skip all of these steps because neither of us raise suspicion this round. Yep. The witch hunters are unfazed. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on to the third round of the season. We're going to go ahead and go back to A. Okay. Um, by the way, I played my transfigure card. I'm supposed to be able to uh, pick up all these cards yeah, again. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I was also supposed to determine at the end of that round if I want to stay a cat, which I will. You're going to stay a cat? I'm going to stay a cat. All right, sounds good. What's the point of transfiguring if I'm going to turn back? Yeah, you do you. Into, yeah. All right. <laughs> so in A, we knock this transfigure token off. Uh -huh. Right comes into the rightmost spot. And uh -huh. now we have collect is a thing. Ah. Uh, okay. I don't think we're going to be doing that no. right now. I mean, you do have the remember action, which you can do. Yeah, I picked up my cards, though, so maybe oh, I will did. collect. Maybe I don't will. know. We'll see. All right, let's go ahead and choose our cards. Sure. And I know what I'm doing. Same. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three, reveal. Move. I am brewing. Uh, brewing. So that's brewing. this, and now we move to D. Nobody is nobody's matching. No one's going to raise suspicion this round. Uh, yeah, I don't want to deal with it. So uh, move <laughs> up to four spaces with your pawn. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go one free. Yep. Two, three, four. Technically, I can go five, but I don't want to. I think I want to stay. Well, maybe I do want to. I will go right there. Okay. Yes, I will do that. Because you did one free. One free. And then the four. And then four. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's it, right? Because you didn't have a. You don't have a collective bonus. No, I mean technically auto here. I could make somebody go uh, night night. In... Oh yeah. And I think I will. I'm gonna make auto move and go night night right there. <gasps> 
just in case you wake up and do some tricky stuff. All right, well, you're done? Uh, I am done. Okay, that was an awful, awful move. Uh, I'm going to move one space over for my free action, oh, my free movement, sorry. Okay. And then brew allows me to brew up the three potions. I cannot replace any ingredients because I did not match with anyone and I'm not next to this building. Sure. So, okay, I'm going to make these three potions, which obviously I'm substituting the crystals for uh, an ingredient of choice. Very useful though. So it's going to be berry and uh, root okay. for the blindness remedy, okay. which is pink. Pink. So that's that one. This is going to be uh, herb and skull. These are both herb and skull. Okay. For two of the blue, uh, the blue potions, which is for paralysis. So I need to find two of these blue ones. Mm -hmm. All right, those are my three. Those are the three potions that I made. I'm ready to go to go heal. Maybe yeah, <laughs> giving away my really. plans. I mean, I'm um, potioned up. Now we move on. Nobody matched, right? No. Okay, Unmatched. so we're not raising any suspicion, but because I'm the cat and I didn't match, I get to go down yeah, it's nice. in suspicion. That's pretty sweet. Nothing happens. Nothing. Well, here is where we stand up this inactive witch hunter. It wakes up. So now I am at risk. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I'm going to decide to... Oh, do I want to do this now? Human form or not. But don't forget, you're limited by what types of actions you can play when you're in your transfigured form. Yeah, that is the thing. I'm going to I'm going to stay a cat. Seeing as there's only two more rounds left, I'm thinking maybe I know what I want to do. So I'm going to stay a cat. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so now we move into the fourth round. Again, new lunar ingredients. Okay, going back to down. A. Uh, right comes off. Collect is over. And the new one is brew. Brew. What timing? Ugh. Where were you a second ago? <laughs> well, then you wouldn't have lowered your suspicion. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to talk, Naveen, about what, what action to play? I'm, I'm straight up thinking heal, to be honest. And You're not straight up thinking recruit? Mm, I'm not thinking recruit. We can heal together. What is recruit? In the final. I mean, there's going to be a trial. Yeah, there is, but uh, I, I think I want to heal. Okay. Suit yeah. yourself. Looks like we're thinking different yeah. things. I don't want to move up suspicion. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, reveal. Heal. I'm recruiting. Okay. Just like I, I, I had you. mentioned. <laughs> okay, okay, go for so it. So mine says heal up to two adjacent patients. Now, however, I do have Hazel here. Okay. Hazel will allow me to heal one of my adjacent plus one away. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to heal paralysis with my blue potion that I made earlier. Okay. And then um, the plague is going to be... That one right there. You are awful. But, you're, you're, you're healing my patients. Yeah. You did that on purpose. <laughs> well, I, oh, I said, on. I asked you if you wanted to switch cat. Okay, anyway. I'm throw you under the bus. Don't forget I have hunters. this charm. Before okay. slash after your action, gain two wisdom for each patient you heal until the end of season. Now, if you see, there's a little citizen icon there. In order to show that this is active right now, I'm going to place a citizen on it. So that's now arrested, and I cannot use the citizen to go out into the crowd and do, sure. my, do my stuff. So these two uh, are going to go out, Ugh. and I'm going to heal uh, the green and the blue because of Hazel's ability. So that means green goes up, meaning I get this bonus of getting a citizen into the crowd. Awful human. And then <laughs> paralysis goes up, so the benefit there is my suspicion goes down, which is great. That's good. Mm -hmm. And um, that is that. Because I did not play a heal action, these are going to go away. You healed these two patients? I did. So these get removed, and now I'm no longer eligible to heal that patient. I, I will say Monique <sighs> destroyed me in this game the last couple times we played, so uh, I, have to, I have to play like this. He's got new tricks <laughs> under his sleeve. You're going to you're gonna find a way to make it up. All right. Well, are you done? That is it, yes. Okay, so it's my turn. I'm going to move for my free movement sure. right there so yeah. that I'm adjacent to this building. And then I am doing the recruit action. So a couple of things happen. I do not collect, or I don't match, sorry. So I don't get the collection bonus. Right. But the first thing is I add a loyal citizen to the crowd. Okay. I'm also a cat. So that is my augmented action here. Oh, yeah. When I take the recruit action, I get to add an additional loyal citizen if at least one town hex is adjacent. I am mm. in the middle of the town. So that is uh, definitely uh, valid. Yeah, sure. And then in the last thing is I am adjacent to this building tile which augments the recruit action. So when you take the recruit action next to it, you can uh, put in one additional loyal citizen, but you also have to put in a hostile citizen. Okay, so the hostile citizen is coming in. Yep. And also, going back to my turn, I mentioned me getting four points. I never actually grabbed them, so oh, I should probably okay. do that, because uh, if not... And these are what the point tokens currently look like, oh, by the okay. way. They're like uh, 
That's the stars. Stars, the moons, moons, and uh, full moon, I think. Yeah. yeah, that's wisdom. Wisdom. Perfect. Or wisdom, yeah. Already winning, Naveen. Oh, uh, yes. Keep it going. <laughs> all right, and that's it. I've added all my little citizens. I'm done with my recruit action. So now we move on to the next step. Nobody matched, right? Uh, no, no matching. No matching. Nope. So that's, I'm going to keep on going down in suspicion yep, because yep. I'm the cat. Very good, yeah. Uh, we're going to go all the way to the very end here. And I am going to decide now for the final round in this season to turn back into back to a human witch. form. Yeah, back into my, my witchy self. Nice. So that's that. Yeah, I should put my fox on my fox. Let's do that. There we are. <laughs> yes, Naveen is a fox. Everybody has a different animal. I'm a fox. All right, let's move on to the final round okay. of the season. Sure. Going back up here, and can we have a new Septima token, Collect, please? Collect, gone, brew, so over, brewing. heal. Okay, it's the recruit action. Yeah, oh. I'm just like one step away every time. Is that what you need? You need a recruit to move up? No, you need collect or brew. <laughs> Are you moving up the crystal? I, I well, it's brew, brew or collect. Or collect, yeah. Which is so. going to happen eventually. Or you can always play your right action card and you don't, it doesn't matter what the symbols True. are, it just moves you up. So, True. all right, let's go ahead and choose our action card. I think we all know what I'm doing, probably. <laughs> are you interested in discussing or not really? I'm interested in discussing. Actually, no, not really. <laughs> I'm not really interested in discussing. Are you ready? I, I'm ready, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, reveal. Remember. Oh, oh we matched okay. anyway. I thought I was being tricky. Okay. Like, I'm going to do a remember action, and Naveen won't know. I'm remembering. All right. Well, let's see what you're remembering. Okay, so uh, I'm going to remember healing because this is the one time that this uh, card is active. At the end of this round, this is going to get tapped. So I'm trying to get as many points out of this uh, charm as I can right now. Okay. So I'm going to be remembering how to heal. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to, I know I want to heal this person right here. So I, I have the option of moving first. I think I want to move knowing that I have Hazel. But the only thing is... I don't think I can use Hazel's ability because I'm technically using Remember. What's the p purpose? Of, they're both pink. You're already next to it. Maybe I want to save myself moves because I'm low on in, um, resources going into the next season. So I'm going to want to get further out into oh, the woods. Oh, I see what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I, I'm pretty sure because I'm playing Remember, I'm not playing Heal, even though I'm copycatting Heal. Correct. Right? Yes, that is a really, really important Very distinction. Important. Yeah. You're only matching with the Remember symbol. This does not come into play. That's right. So I think I, knowing that, um, I think I will not move just so I can be right next to um, the patient. So so I'm going to heal this blind patient here with my blindness potion. Very so good. So it's going to go out. Uh, and then by doing that, uh, that gets me two points because it's during this entire season I get points for that. So I'm going to turn my four into a six here and turn back three. Nice. So now I have six points. You sure Six, about that? 100% sure. <laughs> two, two, two. Okay. And then because I did that, this is now going to move up. So this is great. At the end of the game, this is going to be worth seven points. Wow. And I get a free move onto uh, that section. So I like the idea of being here, uh, being next to these two crystals for mm -hmm. potential. So you're crushing it. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. doing really well. <laughs> um, and by and the then, way, witches' huh? work is such a good, such good work here. Good right? work. We're healing yes. patients. Healing. Uh, okay, and then because we did match, the collective bonus of the chosen action is put a citizen from the crowd into any trial chamber. Oh, you mean me? Uh, no, I think I'm going to put in a, a baddie. A hostile citizen. A hostile citizen. There's no way I'm going to win this trial. So I would rather stack it so that nobody wins the trial. You are doing such bad... Randall is innocent. Randall is not part of my <sighs> coven. Ah. <sighs> Awful. All right. Are you done? I'm playing the mean game. I'm sorry. Yeah, you are mean. <laughs> I have. Look at how many you have. Are you finished? I am finished. All right. <laughs> I'm going to take my turn. I'm doing the remember action as well, and I'm remembering recruit. Yeah. So I don't get the sweet cat benefit this time. <laughs> sweet cat. Um, and I don't think I get this benefit either for the same reason that you didn't get this. Correct. Because it's remember is an playing. action on its own. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a loyal citizen to the crowd. So let's put all of my people in there. You're going for Randall. Um, I also add the collective bonus, which is adding an additional loyal citizen to the crowd. So there we go. Unbelievable. All you my loyal all citizens are in the crowd. I went wow. all in. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, and that, that's it. So that is that is my action. Oh, I can move, actually. I was supposed to be able to move first. All right, I'll move over one spot. We're going to pretend like I took that move before I did my action. Sure, really that's fair. Yep. Okay, so that is it for that. We are going to move on here. We both matched yes. on Remember. However. However, it's uh, not a symbol. It's not a symbol. On the board. Where we uh, go to, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to move on. 
and we have to raise suspicion. We do. So just one. Just one. Because we, we, uh, we did it with each other, it's I suppose. It's interesting because at the end of the season, I'm going to add, because I moved from this to this, I'm going to add one more hostel I know. than we normally would. That's something that's good, right? You like that? I like that. <laughs> I do. Okay, well, we raised suspicion. Uh, are you in a zone? We are ni neither of us are in a zone. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're we are doing running away. Well there. We're running away. So now we move them. So you are the start player. Uh -huh. um, it's going to be... So this five will go to six, I believe. Sure. And then four comes down to three. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. That's it. Yep. That is the end of the season. So we're now we're going to do some end of season stuff, which mainly has to do with the trial. So the first thing is we're going to add additional hostile citizens to the crowd. And like Naveen was mentioning, it's going to be how many lines are below your suspicion tokens. Yes. I have one. I have two. So one, two. So we're going to have a total of three hostile citizens. Yep. And then we're actually going to put all of the citizens into that bag. Oh, yes. Let me do that right now. So we are using our own bag for now. Um, the final copy of the game is going to have uh, its own bag. <laughs> also, okay. just a little bit of cleanup. I healed this patient. This should be gone off the table. That's right. And then Hold did on. you want to... Yes, this yes. is why I wanted to mention this. Before we truly do this, uh -huh. I have my charm, my healing dream. Yep. So at the end of a season, I get to heal a remaining patient without using a potion or having to be adjacent. So I'm just gonna heal this patient. That's yeah. That's I kind of noticed that at the very last second. Thank you okay. for reminding me. Yeah. So that means I can go up here, and I do get to move up on my on my on the right track. That's right. So wow, where do I want to go? I mean, going here will get me a. What is that one? That? That, what's it gonna be? Huh? Is that the brew it's section? It's the brew section, but I like this because of the crystal. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. So now I think we're truly now we ready. can do it. Yes. And actually, before the trial, if there are any patients left over, you're supposed to put a hostile citizen on top of them because you'll only have one additional round to cure them. And if you don't, then the hostile citizen gets put into the crowd. Yeah. We don't have to worry about that because we healed everybody. That's right. So now we're gonna go jump straight to the trial, and Naveen is gonna pull citizens from the bag to fill up this chamber up to this spot one by one. Let's see it, Naveen. All right. So I've grabbed five. So we got one. Okay. Uh oh, two. Nice. Uh oh, three. Okay, not so good. Four. Oh, Monique's got this. Yes. You're gonna get a lot of points here. Fantastic. Wow. So we only had one witch on trial. Nobody lost their uh, their witch there. So this is it. And we're gonna go ahead and count up the verdict. So it's negative one again for the red ones and positive one for mine. So it's one, two, three, four, minus, minus two. two. So it's a positive two, which means Randell is innocent. So because I'm leading in this chamber, I get to, uh, Randell comes to my coven. Because he felt so inclined to join the good, the good coven. <laughs> yeah, you also gain a lot of wisdom for that. Yes, See? it's going to be two wisdom per uh, per citizen. So I have one, two, three, four times two is eight. Yeah, very good. Thank you. It's almost Unfortun best case scenario. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, all of the uh, participating citizens are going to go back to my supply since I won this one. Yep. And then everything else in the bag goes back into the crowd. Back so, into the crowd. Yes. Just like that. Just like that. So, Naveen, you still have your one there. I mean, you still, yeah, you you really work the crowd. I tried. Yeah. The other citizens are going to go back into the supply because sure. the loyal and the neutral citizens always get refreshed um, each season. Yep. So, that is it. That mm -hmm. is how you do a trial. We are ready to move on. We're going to slightly refresh the charms. So, this one is going to go on top of the next one. And we're going to flip over a top card here. So, if you really, really wanted something that we just covered, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, but as uh, if you uncover, then the It'll one underneath available. gets ex exposed. Yeah. We're going to advance the season marker because now we're going into winter, winter. and uh, we're unlocking a new witch hunter, which gets placed in the lowest available uh, numbered space. Mm -hmm. And these are called hideouts, by the way. Okay. We're going to refresh this. Uh, at this point, if you're playing the, the version of the game without the animals, then you would get to refresh your hand. Right. But because we're not, right. we got to leave them there. Pass the first player token. All Marker. right, the popcorn. <laughs> so I get the popcorn guy. And yeah. then before we actually start the next season, you can rearrange your witches. Yes. So that's not super important for you, although know that Otto is at risk, right? For me, yeah. I have a, I have a third witch, so now if I want to use their benefit, I can. And you know what? I think I'm going to leave my, my witches the way they are. Yeah. Because Randall's benefit, as sweet as it is, probably won't come into play until later. This says when I move up the right track, I don't have to pay the extra ingredient to yeah. move onto these spaces. So I'm just going to save Randall for later. Yeah, you're a couple matches away. Yeah, yeah it's hard to, hard to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, there's no point in me uh, reshuffling, so I won't. All right. Now that we are uh, in winter, yes. we're going to have a true preparation phase. So the first thing is we have to refill the patients. Patients, yes. So okay. we need four more, four uh, more from the stack. And so... this is also dependent on player count. All right. Okay. So now we have our patients. We're going to flip over the top 
Which tile? This is Ka Ka Katharina. Katharina. Looks like whenever you take the collect action, you can take um, the lunar ingredient that's up next. Oh, so yeah. it would be this one if it were to be the case. Gotcha. Now we fill, we refill with the hostile and neutral. Two and two. Uh, citizens, yes. Two and two. Two and two. Perfect. We shuffle these. Are these from last these are, season? Yeah, this is all left over, okay. so... You can go ahead and just shuffle them and reveal the first two. Sure. So we're going straight into the into, first round of winter. Again. All, right. Yeah. all right, magic, we have it nice and done. So we have <laughs> right, right okay. and tra transfiguration. transfiguration. Okay, perfect. All right. So um, also, I am done with this card. I've used it for the entire season, so it's going to be now tapped. I need to untap it to right. try to do that whole thing again. All right, hopefully you don't do that. <laughs> okay. So now I am first player, uh -huh. and we're going to go straight into our card selection for the first round. All right. So we've got some things going for us. We do. <laughs> All right, are you ready? I am ready. Do you care about talking about this? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Okay. Fine. One, two, three, reveal. Transfigure. Right. Right. All right. Ooh. That's right. Right. <laughs> so we flipped. And now it's going to go to me. Wow. So I'm the only one who matched. Yeah, you matched with like. Oh, no, you first. matched too. I did, yes. Yeah. But it's me first. And this time, I am going to raise suspicion. And I'm going to, to get the attention of a, a witch hunter. So mm -hmm. I may want to move, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start by moving this way into a new zone yep. since it's red. Yeah, red would be with this one going right. there. So you're safe from hunting. Right, that's right. And then with my right action, I'm going to advance one step on the right track. So this first uh, threshold here does not require me to spend an ingredient, unlike those. Or they're called offerings, actually. Mm -hmm. And so what's under this crystal? Oh, Transfigure. Hmm. Which has already happened, and I have just played it right now. Right. I think I'll go this way. Okay. So I'm going to go over here, and this is going to let me take a, uh, a charm. One of these two, actually. Yeah, because, because it's in that column. I'm in this column, yeah, exactly. It's in that grayish blue. So it's either the doppelganger, mm -hmm. which says plea. Uh, when I when I play the plea action, I also place a loyal citizen from my supply into the other chamber. Ah. So this is the first chamber, that's the second chamber. Or army of justice. Before or after your action, gain three wisdom if you have no loyal citizens left in your supply. Oh, that's interesting. That's cool. So the first one requires there to be another witch caught. Right. So I think we know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Army of Justice it is. I'll okay. have to just plan properly uh, when to use that. Yeah, sure. Um, and now that unveils the Healing Rain, which, which oh, seen before. I would have liked that. Spend, spend a Healing Potion to advance on the corresponding patient track. That, I would have I would yeah, like that. Yeah, sure. Well, what can you do? Right. So my collection bonus, or my, my, my matching bonus, is I can refresh a charm or gain any one ingredient. I think I'm going to refresh this charm. Yeah, it's pretty nice. That's really nice. Yeah. So I have Healing Dream back again as well as Army of Justice, and that is it. That's my turn. Okay, sounds good. So I am going to become my fox self. So <laughs> Otto is now covered up and protected. Uh, so that's the main thing. And then because I did um, have a collective bonus with... So you have to replace your pawn. Uh, yes, my pawn. Thank you. You have to be, be have one to be with the one fox. With the fox, you are it. <laughs> <clears throat> now I can move up to four spaces. So technically five spaces because of the uh, inherent one space. Right. This is what the fox looks like, by the way. They're all silk screened uh, meeples. Mm -hmm. We haven't been laying them down because the witch hunters, when you lay them down, it means that they're inactive. So Correct. we figured we'll keep them all right side up. So I have to be cognizant of the different actions I can perform with the fox, mm -hmm. but I do get to collect all my cards by transfiguring, which is good for me. Mm -hmm. So I think I will move up to five times. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I will hang out all the way over there. Hanging out in my zone, I see. In your zone. <laughs> Trying to be a sly fox. I am. That's it. That's Are it. You done? Yep. All right. So let's move on. Uh, I matched with the candle. Mm -hmm. So I don't, unfortunately, I'm not next to a candle spot. So right. it doesn't do anything. Did you match? I, I did, but. Um... You have brew or oh, heal. Okay. Yeah, it's not happening. So not happening quite yet. But uh, we still raise suspicion. You don't. I do not, because I'm in my fox form. But I do. And I raise two, two. suspicion. This is the right most septima. Yikes. And that's true for all player counts. Yes, that's two, right. Three, four. But uh, there's no uh, witch hunter in my zone. Right. So I get to skip this, fortunately. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and move the witch hunter over. Yeah, so from six down to five, mm -hmm. it's closer. Right. Not good. Do you want to stay a fox? Um... I will not be staying a fox. I am going to unfox myself. <laughs> okay. Yes. You basically did that so you can pick up your hand. I did. Yeah. It okay. was it was a hand collection thing. 
All right. Well, then you have to switch out your fox. Yes. I don't know why I'm not doing it. There you go. You're all right. Thank <laughs> That's you. That's okay. Well, that is the end of the of, of round one. Okay. We're moving on to round two of the fall. Oops. Moving it on. So we've got over. some new uh, lunar ingredient options here. Right. And we have a new septima token. We do. So this one goes out. This one comes over. This one is going to flip. And remember. It is the remember action. Oh, don't have that one quite yet. <laughs> don't have it, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and choose our cards, and I think I know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, same. It's not gonna be the most uh, efficient action. Okay. Ready? Yes. Reveal. Recruit. Heal. Oh. So I'm healing, and uh, you're recruiting, I'm so recruiting. we're not matching this time. Nope. No one's matching, which is fine. Okay, I'm gonna take my free movement, and I'm gonna move over here. Sure. I'm just playing this ping pong game okay. over here, and I can heal up to two adjacent patients. Clearly, I'm only adjacent to one. Okay. And I also don't have any green potions, unfortunately. Uh, I chose wrong last time. Yeah. But I'm gonna spend the one pink okay. to heal this one patient. And okay. you're not playing a heal, right? I'm not playing, so you can pull okay, them off. So this goes off. And I get to, to move up, although Edith over here allows me to move up on a different one instead if I wanted to. Sure. Which I guess I'll move up on the green. Yeah, you know, so that, you don't have the potions for it. So, yeah, yeah, that gets me a loyal citizen into the crowd. Sure. So that's it. I did not uh, match, so no bonus here. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to add a loyal citizen to the crowd. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I do have Otto's uh, ability, which I'm going to use in a second. So Otto's ability says when I use recruit or move, I get to move a, a witch hunter and uh -huh. put them inactive. So I'm going to move them. Right over there and make them inactive. <laughs> get out of my sight. Ah, uh, I oh. gotta get Otto caught. Otto seems guilty. Yes. And in the process, I wanted my first, uh, my opening move to be one move. Sure. Yes. Likely, Otto. <laughs> Definitely likely. That's for 100%. long. All right. Well, that's it for action. So nobody matched, right? No match. No suspicion. So we're skipping everything. Everything. Uh, well, the inactive. It becomes active. Witch Hunter becomes active. Yes. Cool. All right. Back to A. Right. Round three. Three. And slide on over, and we have collection. Ooh. Collection. Collection. What do you think, Damien? Are you thinking about um, uh, move turning into a fox again? Am I thinking about it? Yeah. I've thought about it. It's a win-win. I've thought about it, but I don't know if I'm going to do it. Well, what are you going to do? Do you want to match? No. I, no, uh, because where you are, I'm assuming you're not going to be collecting. Well, I guess we have our answer. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and choose our card. Are you yes. ready? Yes. One, two, three, collect. flip. I am transfiguring. Yeah, definitely collect. So that's that. And then now it goes to actions. Um, I'm not matching, but you are. I am matching, yes. So all I do is I replace my animal form with my... Oh, well, I can move, actually. I still get to move. One move. And seeing as Naveen moved that witch hunter there, that was not ideal. Slide. I did not foresee that. So I'm just moving over one more time. Hopefully that's the last time I have to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and transform into my cat. Don't forget to pick up your uh, cards. I won't. <laughs> that is very important. Yeah. So I get to pick up my, my discard. Yes. So there's that. Very good. Okay, so uh, before I go ahead and collect, I am going to free move here, uh, knowing that the lunar uh, spaces are these. Lunar I'm gonna, ingredients? Yeah, lunar ingredients. I'm going to get uh, the mushroom. Okay. I'm going to get the berries. So berries. Mushroom. I'm now next to a crystal spot. So ah, I'll take the crystal. There you go. And then, because I did match with Septima, uh, additionally collect a single non-lunar ingredient from an adjacent hex. Non-lunar ingredient that exists is the root. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that, and that is me. Are you done? That's it. Yep. Okay. Uh, you matched. I did. I don't think I. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on a pathway to, to anything. Wow, you're just tossing all long... the crystals around. Get out of here, crystals. <laughs> you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you still have to raise suspicion. I do, yeah. And because I did not match, I get to lower my suspicion by one, so because I'm with a cat. And then, where are you? Oh, you're not in a zone that has a witch hunter. We are evading these witches, yeah. these witch hunters, uh, until we get there, and then we'll be in big trouble. <laughs> yeah. So you, you must move a witch hunter to your zone, though. To my zone. Okay, so it's going to have to be this one, then, yep. when I got out of there. <laughs> there you go. They're back. Back at it again. Okay, okay, so now I get to decide if I want to stay a cat, and I think I will. Remain I'm cat. I'm going to remain a cat for now. Okay. Uh, I do like my cat form, so let's go Thank back to form. A. Okay. And this is a penultimate round yeah. of the season. Okay, so let's go. So you, got, you have two this, more actions, Nadine. Push this over. Yeah, what am I doing in this You want to work together? <laughs> kind of. Let's recruit. Recruit? No, I've already played my recruit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's like 100% I can't, so. But you Fine. can. All right, let's go ahead and choose our cards. Are you ready? I am ready. 
One, two, three, reveal. Brew. I'm recruiting. Recruit. Okay. Yes. I'm going to recruit at the end. The round is going to, to end soon. So uh -huh. I figure now's the time. So we're going to go straight yeah. to, to D. And I guess I'll take my turn. Do I need to move? Ooh, do I... No, I don't want to move because I'm playing the recruit action and I'm next to that building tile. I mean, you could technically move in this direction or that direction and still be next to the tile. I guess that's true. I guess it depends on where I want to end up for the next round. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right, I am going to move. And I know I've been doing this all season. Can you imagine what this looks like in the town? Just somebody pacing back and forth? Well, a cat but just kind of <laughs> roaming the alleys. Is really I, I swear I'm, I have a direction now. Okay. I was really just trying to evade the witch hunter, but I'm moving over there. Okay. And uh, I get to, as per my card, I can add a loyal citizen to the crowd. Uh -huh. So there's that. As per my cat, I can add a an additional loyal citizen if at least one town hex is adjacent. <laughs> yes. So there's that. Yes. And hanging then, out in the crowd. Because I'm also next to this building tile, uh -huh. I played the recruit action. I can place another loyal citizen and a hostile and citizen. That's enough, Monique. You're just dominating these trials. Huh? I would like to to earn another uh, witch into my coven. <laughs> yeah, slash 12 points. Um, or also, it might be. because I, I'm done with my action, I'm going to tap my army of justice. Uh -huh. Because I gain three wisdom if I have no loyal citizens left in my supply. Unbelievable. So I'm tapping I'm that. I'm give you a five and then sure. you get two back. Yes, there you go. So those are victory points again. Very good. Yep, and that's it. I'm All done. Right. Quick score count. I have six. You have 11. 11. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to brew potions. So I definitely know I want a blindness and a paralysis uh, remedy. So okay. it's going to be the berries and the root. That's one of them. That's the pink one. The blindness is going to be a skull and a, what is it, the bush? Blindness is, no, blindness is berries and... Oh, I'm sorry, not blindness. Uh, it is... Sorry, it is blindness and plague, uh, not the blue. I apologize oh. about the blue. So this, is, so you made a blindness. I made a blindness already and okay. paid for it. And then it's going to be the uh, mushroom, and I'm going to spend one of my crystals for the other one. For the the skull. For the uh, yes. Oh, sorry, no, for <laughs> for the for the herb. <laughs> okay. We I made the green one. We're bad witches. I made the pink one, <laughs> and I spent everything needed, <laughs> including a wild. That's oh my that gosh. One. Okay. We would and really be bad. We would be bad. And let me see if there's anything worthwhile with this root. I could make a ritual oil, which uh, let's just do it. Why okay. not? So I will make a ritual oil with the uh, root, and then this will represent skull, which I do not possess. So okay. There we go. Okay. So this is a ritual oil. The ritual oil, in case you're wondering, uh -huh. lets you receive the collective bonus of your action, even if it didn't match. Correct, yeah. And these uh, specific type of practical potions, that's what these are, these can only be played during the action phase. Mm -hmm. When you make them, you also get three I, points. Exactly, that is where I was looking for. You gain some wisdom. You're a little I, bit more wise. The way I see it is I turned in a crystal, which is worth one point, to make three points. Plus, I have some sort of benefit as well. Yeah, potions are also worth one point at the end of the game if you don't use it. And yes, so, there we go. Plus, Naveen might be working towards his Book of Divination. Maybe. Which I... <laughs> Don't know if I've been doing that at all, so. Yeah. Oh, and um, I, I keep forgetting. Yes, I will move. You would have moved? I would have moved, yes. Fine. So easy just to forget. Just this once. One time. I'm just kidding. Okay, so we're done? One time every time, yeah. <laughs> did you, what, what card did you play? Nobody uh, matched. Nobody matched, yeah. No I'm, one is going to raise suspicion. I'm trying to, to avoid detection. Suspicion. Again, though, I am my cat, so I'm lowering my suspicion. Yeah, that's And good. nothing else happens. So we're going yeah. into the final round the of last the season. One. Collection, bye-bye. Move in. And what oh wait, sorry, be? sorry. Oh. I must decide. Don't don't flip that yet. Okay, I know I what it is. To decide if ahead. I want to be um, my cat still. Yeah, I'll be the cat. I'll say the cat. You will be the cat. Yeah, I've got all my loyal citizens out, and I'll be the cat. Okay, sounds good. So go ahead and reveal that. It is heal. 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 Yes. And I th am I near a heal? You With are. All these potions made. Are you going to heal? Uh, I'm definitely going to heal. What potions do you have? I have the potions to. Green and pink, though. Green and... Did I say... Did I do pink? Yeah. Did I make a boo-boo? Maybe. <laughs> um, That's okay. That's okay. You gonna go with it? I will make it work. If only yes. I remembered what your ingredients were. Uh, Well, I, the pink I made perfectly with a... Um, with a berry and a root. Okay. Like, I don't you think definitely you could made even, a pink. Yeah. That, those are the only ones I did not use. So okay. So that is okay. I will work with it. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and decide our cards. Do you know what you're doing? Uh, yes. One, two, three, reveal. What? I'm moving. Okay, I'm healing. It's only it's one of the uh, only actions I can take the can as do. the cat. Yeah. So, um, all right, so we've revealed 
and I matched. So I'm going to get to move up to four spaces. So I can do my first move right now. It really depends on what I want because okay. I can collect an ingredient from an adjacent hex during my move. Mm -hmm. it, it, uh, it actually is before, it's adjacent to the first space and mm -hmm. the or the last space. Right. So you can't okay. like walk through and collect stuff as you walk. Right. I think it would be nice to get a crystal. Those are so good, especially with four spaces. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Okay. And just kind of chill right there. And I'm going to collect a, a crystal. Crystal. This, so you're taking this hex's yeah. collection. Okay. Yeah. So I technically could have gone five, but I just, I wanted to go four. Yeah, you stopped short. That's not yeah. bad. Yeah. Well, I got a heal and I'm not near anybody, but the fortunate thing is I do have this flying potion, which basically lets me uh, spawn or go anywhere I want. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use that to kind of get out of uh, the way. And I want to be somewhere where, because I know I'm going to be uh, raising suspicion, so I want to be out of harm's way here. So I'm just going to move myself right into this little location. I think that's the best spot for me. I'm looking at the moon effects over there yeah. later on, and I'm trying to see if I can get anywhere, but I, I don't think so. so the lunar ingredients? The lunar ingredients coming up, yeah. So okay. I'll stay there. Uh, well, and then I can heal up to two adjacent patients. I'm going to heal uh, the one green. Okay. So that goes out. And it's uh, gonna be that one. Heal that one. Yep. So I'll just take it off the board because nobody else healed. Sure. Uh, and then that goes here, and then that allows me to bring this up, lowering my suspicion, which is good. Very good. Uh, and then also because I did uh, match with Septima, I can put a citizen from the crowd into any trial chamber. Ooh. You know what? You're gonna probably win this, so I might as well try to nab two points out of it. Well, yeah. That's that's totally totally yeah. fair. Um, it's not guaranteed. That's a lot. That is a lot to compete with. But right. yes, I do have a lot of citizens in there. Yeah. Okay, are you done with your turn? Uh, that is it. All right. So let's go to E. Uh, mm -hmm. We I we both matched. We did. So I am not next to a move action, unfortunately. Uh, are you next to yours? I am next to heal. So I get this crystal. You get the which crystal. Is nice. I need that. Nice. One more step away. And you get to take a charm. Yeah, what is this next one here? It's move. move. Uh, yeah, it's well, move or heal. So. Okay. It also depends on which uh, which type of charm you want. Sure. Okay, very good. So now we are going to increase our suspicion. I am a cat, so I don't increase my suspicion, but I also don't go down. Right, because you copy it. Yeah. Okay, so I will go up back to four. So okay. what I gained, I lost. But that is okay. Right. So uh, nobody has to roll the suspicion die yet because yeah, we're staying out of harm's way. Yeah, we're staying out of harm's way. But you do move the witch hunter yes, to your hideout. And I believe hideout. it's going to be three to me. And yep. then for you, are you in a hideout? Yeah. So then. But I didn't raise suspicion. You did not raise suspicion because that's I'm true. a cat. Yes, that's right. And I no longer want to be a cat because it's the end of the the it's end of the season. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, and switch back to my witch self yeah, to give ways. myself more options. Okay. And so I can have the full. Uh, benefit of Elana's um, power here. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so it is the end of the season. Before we do end of the season things, I want to tap my healing dream, which lets me heal a remaining patient without using a potion or having to be adjacent. So I'm going to heal this blue one. Okay, that's the one that's lagging for you. Yeah, that's yeah. one that's lagging. So I can push this up, which lowers my suspicion, but more importantly, I now have a, a full row yeah, that's of, good. of patients healed. So that's nice. Very good. Okay. So now we are going to go to the end of season stuff. We're going to have a trial. Trial, yep. First things first, we did not heal this patient. So it gets a hostile citizen. a little citizen. angry. And that's going to stay next round. If we don't heal it next round, then that, that patient goes away. Hostile citizen joins the trial. Right. Now we're going to add additional hostile citizens. I only have one line underneath mine. Uh, two. So, so three total. Three so go ahead and add yeah. them to the chamber and really just add them all to the all bag. All to the bag, yeah. Because we are now gonna have a trial, trial. and only one only one witch is on trial today. Yeah, you have a lot, wow. Well, it would be more fruitful if we had two witches on trial, but we've been evading these witch hunters. That's true. So much. All right, so I have five in my hand. I think I have five in my hand and it is... Wow. Oh, oh. This is gonna be bad. This is not good. You don't get to choose the order. Oh, sorry. So technically you should do them one by one sure, because yeah. the order of uh, of them coming out matters. That's right, that's right. But it's gonna be three minus three. three. So this yeah. is zero. zero. So Katharina actually is, is guilty. Guilty. So Katharina gets discarded from the game for now. And uh, we we get one point per meeple, so one I get point. two, get two, two wisdom to wow. your one. There's two, and Thank I get one. You. Wow, unbelievable! And the thing about it is, if the witch is guilty, we all move back we into do. the crowd. That's so not all good. of my meeples stay. I'm not happy with that. Yeah, you kind of wanted those. Well, I don't know. You have, you seem to have a very good way of 
getting yourself back involved. Look at that. Huh? It was kind of the only thing I did <laughs> last round. Yeah. So good. now we, we removed all the hostile and neutral citizens. Did, yeah. There you go. We're going to flush the charms. So now these come down okay. and we get a new one. And then we are going to advance to summer. Summertime. So technically the third in-game true round, round. I suppose. The moon marker as well goes back to round one. And uh, now you can rearrange your witches, if that matters to you. So um, for me, I have Randell here, who I may want to consider switching out uh, one of my other Yeah, because you're getting close. Because yeah. we're now in the second half of the game. I don't know, I might switch up him up for Edith. Okay. Because um, right now all of my patients are even, so healing any of them would Is be good. great. Yeah. yeah. Last but not least, you are now first, first player, player to start my the third right. season. Okay. All right, and now we are all set up for mm -hmm. this third season. We have all the, the patients, all the hostile and neutral citizens. We have our witch on trial. This Sen. is Sen. And Sen's ability says when you take the collect action, you can exchange up to two of those uh, ingredients for crystals wow. instead. That's great. Um, and we also have Septima's tokens for the, Remember the first round. Remember and write, yes. So this should be here. Okay. And actually, we are done with A. We're going to go straight to B. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. And Naveen has first player marker right now. So are you ready to yeah, play a card? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, gosh, I'm trying to do the math on all this. Are you interested in matching? Uh, oof, this is tough. I'm at four going creeping on five. That is quite high. What, what kind of a match are you looking to make? If you tell me the right match, maybe. Mm. You want to move? I think I'm just going to play my card. <laughs> you do not want to move. Yes, I, I am ready, though. I have my card. Interesting. Oh, shoot. Okay. Ready? Yes. One, two, three, reveal. Transfigure. I'm going to collect. Collection time. Yeah, I'm, I'm primed in position over there. Okay. And I don't want to match, actually. So that's why I didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want the yeah. blue chapter coming over. Okay, so it goes to you. Yeah, so um, because I'm transfiguring, I am going to replace myself with my animal self. Okay. Fox comes over Otto. Mm -hmm. And now I am going... Did you want to move first? Uh, well, I think I will. Yeah, I'll go ahead and move. I'm just going to slip myself right... Here. All right. So done? Uh, yes, that's it. All right. Sly Fox. Sly Fox. Okay, so it goes to me, and I'm going to collect all the lunar ingredients from those adjacent hexes. Right now, the lunar ingredients are herb and skull. Mm -hmm. And I'm next to two skulls and a crystal. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take all three of those. Uh, um, yeah. And not matching. So that's, quite, that's quite nice. That is nice. Thank you. Keeping it low key. That's right. All right. And I said we said no matching, no matching. right? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and skip all the way all forward. Yep. Would you like to remain a fox? Um, you pick up all your cards, I by do. the way. Yes, thank you. I will I will remain a fox. You'll remain a fox? I will remain a fox. All right, well, that's that for round one. Heading into round two, let's see Septima's new token. Okay, right out slide. Oh, uh, oh, right in. Because I was a fox, actually, I was supposed to go down because I didn't match with anybody. Ah, yes, yes, so yes. Good, good thing you remember that. over that, yeah. So here we go. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, it's so that's a recruit. recruiting. So write and recruit. Interesting. Hmm, interesting. That is interesting. All right, well, I'm ready. Do you want to get him on, on the right board with me? Well, I'm I'm the fox. What? And, oh, I, and yeah. I'm limited by what the fox is allowed to do. Ah, uh, yeah, you can't do this then. So, <laughs> I can't do this. I just gave away what I'm doing. Interesting. <laughs> ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Reveal. Recruit. I'm doing the right, just like okay. just like I said. Just like set the middle uh, So then we did that. We revealed. So it goes to you. Uh, free move. Why not? Let's mm -hmm. just move right here. Okay. One spot. Uh, I am allowed to recruit as the fox, so I'm going to add a loyal citizen to the crowd, and because I am matching with Septima here, mm -hmm. I'll add an additional loyal citizen to the crowd. So I'm trying to get nice. into this uh, this, this trial crowd, business crowd here. Business. <laughs> yes. Wow. Might as well. Look at that. Somebody needs to lose their leader. So we can have two <laughs> trials. Well, you have three. I have two. So um, I think it should be you. Wow. Um, so that's me. Okay. Well, I played the right card, so I get to advance one step on the right track, mm -hmm. which I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah. Um, because I match with Septima, I also get to refresh a charm or gain any one ingredient. I'm going to refresh my charm. Okay. I'm going to refresh Army of Justice. Which one's that one again? The one that uh, before or after my action, I gain three wisdom if I have no loyal citizens oh. left in my supply. And I'm it's it's now uh, I'm done with my action. Unbelievably so I'm solid. going to 
Tap it. Just straight up three points. Well, I, I need to use this opportunity Before now. Before you lose them, yeah. While I don't have any more loyal citizens in my supply. I'll give you three singles. So, thank you. Amazing. Oh, man, that's a good usage of that card. Thank you. You've gotten six points out of it, huh? Uh, yeah, six points. Out I of need to get this card. thing untapped. I did it one time for six points. That was it. The right card helped to do that. Okay, well, that's that. Uh, we did do some matching. Um, so you matched. I did, but I'm not next to a right symbol. Okay. So I don't actually get to move up there. Right. But I do raise suspicion. Yes, and I'm gonna I also go up by lower two. suspicion. Boom, boom. Yeah, wow. I lowered because uh, I did not match with anybody. Oh my gosh, am I? Oh, you're no, you're safe. I'm in a good zone. You're in a good zone. <laughs> okay, so you raise suspicion, but nobody, no witch right. hunters in my uh, in, in that area. Yeah. So we go ahead and move over this one, I believe. I think it's yeah. a lower this number. This one's gonna slide on over here, right? Because yes. you're in the yellow zone. Yeah. I'm in the yellow zone. Okay. Okay. So not Zones too safe anymore. Uh, Naveen, you did you lower yours? I did. I lowered it. Yep. Would you like to stay a fox? I think I think I need a bail on this fox plan. <laughs> yeah. I think the fox did what it needed to. Yeah. Thanks, fox. Okay, so you're transforming back. I'm back. You got to do it. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Round three. Forget to remove your fox. Yes. All right. That's that. Round three. We're moving. We're really moving now. So go ahead and, and switch out the Septima yes. token. Okay, what do we have? Right is out. Come on. Be something I don't need. Yeah, same. Oh, Heal. God, Heal. Very good. Heal. Why? <laughs> oh, no. This is, Rob, this is turn three? So we only have three more actions. I want, uh, All right, I think I'm ready. Do you know what you're gonna play? Um, yeah, yeah, I am. One, two, three, reveal. Right. Remember. Remembering to write for you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh what? shoot. <laughs> All right, you go first. Okay, advance one step. Are you on, gonna move? Uh, the right track. Am I going to move? Um, no, I will not move. I'm gonna stay. Okay. Right where I'm at. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go advance one step on the right track. I'm going to move towards this crystal. Yeah, and you and get a charm. I do get a charm. So now I get one of these green charms because mm -hmm. that's the column I'm in. Mm -hmm. So there's Blessed Day, which uh -huh. says you can collect all lunar and non-lunar non ingredients from adjacent hexes or um, invisibility cloak before or after your action. You can ignore witch, mm. witch hunter rolls until you move your pawn. You know, I'm going to go with Blessed Day. I think I'm going to take the one that allows me to collect all lunar and non-lunar okay it's a one time but uh you know it's still I'm, nice where, when you need it right i'm just gonna move these prologue cards off because they're not useful anymore gloves of hera replaces that before okay. or after your action gain one wisdom for each of your collective actions until the end of season mm. oh that's wow pretty nice that's real nice if you're just like thinking of matching I'm matching a bunch a lot. yeah yeah all right are you done with your action uh yeah so i think that was it right i moved up gained a thing yeah. yes all right I played remember, and I am going to move first. Okay. I think I'm going to move this way, away from the oh, witch wait. hunter. Yeah. Do it, minding my own business. Good. You know? Yeah. Um, and I'm going to remember the right action. So this is the first time I get to use the ability of my leader, Elana. Um, Elana says whenever I use the remember action, I always get the collective bonus. Unbelievable. Wow. So I'm going to oh, advance no. one step on the right track. So I'm going to move up here. In order for me to move to this uh, this particular row, I have to pay one ingredient as an offering. But because I have Randall over here, um, I don't have to pay it. Wow. So moving here will allow me to untap a charm. Are you untapping the three-pointer? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I believe I will. And uh, in addition, I get the collective bonus of this action, which is refreshing a charm or gaining any one ingredient. So I'm going to refresh this one as well because this is the one that lets me heal a patient. I don't know. We'll see if I'll be able to use it. Um, and then before I end my action, I'm going to, of course, tap the Army of Justice again uh -oh. while I still can because I don't know how long this is going to last. I'm going to give you 10. You want to give me 7 back? Uh, sure. There you go. There you go. Oh, thank man. You. Man, oh, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, no. I, uh, I got wanted to do some system going on here. At least once. Oh, boy. Well, that's that. That's too good. Uh, you played the right, so nobody, nobody, uh, nobody matched. No. No suspicion. We're not suspicious witches. No, we're, we're just hanging very, out. We keep to ourselves. Doing what uh, we do. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it, right? I think that's it. Yep. Moving on to the fourth round, and we're gonna go back up here. What is the next Septima token? Okay, please be something that's not gonna so raise heal problems. And collect. collect. I already did my collect, so. Mm. Okay. Well, I don't. You don't. By any chance, want to brew? No? Mm, I don't know. Okay, fine. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> wow, cryptic. Okay, ready? 
One, two, three. Brew. I'm brewing. Oh, you're brewing? <laughs> you brewed. Why didn't you just tell me? I, I don't know. Maybe you'd switch it up or something. <laughs> okay. Because the, the bonus at the bottom here, it says you may replace one ingredient with another one during... I have two crystals. They're wild. <laughs> I don't want to give you that information that I'm going to do it. I don't get any benefit. You get the benefit. Well, you matched. So I matched, yeah. There's I that. I know. Okay, so we're here. Go ahead, Naveen. Uh, free move if desired. Right. Um, you know, I, I think I'm going to stand pat right there. I'm not going to move. Okay. But I'm going to brew up to three potions. I'm going to brew a single potion. I'm going to brew uh, with the uh, the paralysis remedy, the blue one. The blue one? Yep. Okay, so you're, you're turning in two crystals. Two crystals. Two wilds. Yeah. And it's, uh, that's totally... Yeah, it doesn't feel good doing that. <laughs> it's I two wish... points. It does two points, and I uh, and I only brewed one of, you know, a couple things. I, I made a, a couple of errors there. I didn't collect enough ingredients mm. at the right time. Okay. That is okay. Um, well, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to brew, but I'm going to first move down here. And I can brew up to three potions. So this might be ridiculous because I'm spending four points. I'm doing the same thing. I'm spending my crystals. Yeah. But I'm going to spend four crystals okay. to make two uh, potions. One is going to be the pink one. So there's that. Another one. Uh, uh, I will say you did match. So you may replace one ingredient with another. So did you want to keep a crystal and swap out one of your ingredients? I definitely want to do that. But I think I will only make two. Okay. potions because i really don't like spending the crystals this yeah, felt, feel felt pretty awful yeah. so i'm gonna hold on to these two crystals and for my second potion i'm going to brew a practical potion for my first time okay. it's going to be the calming potion so it takes an herb and a berry and this calming potion lets me lower my suspicion by two or move a witch hunter to any empty hut and set it inactive Gotcha. So this is a you like that option. A nice way, yeah. And I believe you get three points for yes, brewing that's one right. Of those. Did you get points for brewing those earlier? Yeah, I did. Okay. And yeah, good. Mm. Mm. So I think it looks like that. Yeah. So that that'll be a nice kind of a danger zone <laughs> action <laughs> that I can take. Yeah, you can bail out. If yeah, you I can to. bail out exactly. All right, that's that. So do you have a brew spot? Uh, above I don't know what's underneath that. No. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. We're not playing the right board. <laughs> I mean, not you well. are. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm up not. to here, but if you really want to get points, you need to get up to here, here, because that's just five points, ten points, and then, you know, More wisdom points. up there. Yeah. So, all right, moving on. We have to increase our suspicion. Yep. I'm going up by one. I'm up by one. Um, are you in a zone? I am <gasps> technically in a zone. You it's are. One, two, three, four, five would be. I should have probably moved on my turn. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. Wait, wait. Plus, Plus one. one. Okay. okay. Whew, we safe. should. We should put the die on the on the table next time, but that was totally that's, legal. So it's what okay. one plus three? Yes, yeah, four. It's four. So it's just one, two, three, four. So just shy. Well, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I tried me. to make yeah, it work. Yeah, hurt me. I want a second trial. Um, With, at my expense? <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Auto is too good. Okay. Well, I raised suspicion, but there's nobody in my uh, in my hideout there. So we're gonna go to H, and I believe I think this two goes down to one. Yeah. Two goes to one. Yep. And that's it. That's that, yeah. That's the, uh, that's the end of that. We're going to go into our final, final turn one, before huh? the end of the season. All right. So what is our, our last token? The heel comes off. Oh, this heel came off. This one slides over. And then this one, brew. <laughs> it's too late. Wow. We, we zig and zagged a little bit yeah. too much there. All right. I know what I'm doing. I'm auto. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah, one, two, three. Heel. heel. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Not yeah. good. Not good. Uh, All right, well, uh, I'm going to heal up to two adjacent patients. Before I do that, knowing that uh, I'm going to raise suspicion, I'm just going to tuck myself in right here, just one away. As far away as possible? Yeah, and then because I'm using heal, I can heal up to two adjacent patients. I have Hazel, so oh. I can heal the one next to me and the one one hex away. Okay. So I will go ahead and do that with the blue and the red the pink pink yes pink <laughs> yeah uh, and then that's going to heal these two and so i go up on blue which gets me a, a citizen? citizen in here now, oh, now we're in there this is gonna be yeah juicy yeah. and then this one's <laughs> gonna go up here which gets me any one ingredient and now i've finished off two complete rows wow that's rows, great columns rows 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 and i think i'm gonna go with a root 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 all right done uh, yes, that's going to be me. Okay, you can remove this one because I'm not going to be able to heal them. You're not going to heal this one? Okay. Because I can only move one space. So sure. I am going to move one space here, which is real scary 
Because I'm going to have to roll that die. Oh, and they're coming at you. Yeah, I oh, think wow. Ilana is a goner. We might have two trolls Ilana after all. Ilana a goner. That's okay. I'm, I'm glad I got that one remember. Uh, out of her? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ilana. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and heal. And I can only heal one patient because I'm only adjacent to one of them, unfortunately. Oh, okay. okay. So it's going to be the pink the pink uh, potion, potion for the yeah. pink patient. Sure. Yep. So blindness has been cured. Yes, it has. I'm going to go up here, even though I can technically go up on a different one. If you wanted to, yeah. I if you want to lower suspicion, you can go up your green. I could, but I really, I really need to go up on pink. <laughs> for reasons unknown. Oh. Or maybe they are known. For reasons now known. And that'll get me a, an ingredient. So may I please have a skull? A skull. Okay. Yes. Uh oh, you're working this game, huh? Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. There's still a whole. You're doing something a there. Whole you're collecting round. a bunch of skulls, <laughs> moving up one track. Okay. Um, and I don't have a citizen. Oh no, put a citizen from the crowd. Did you do that? I did not. Yeah. Okay. I should, so you, okay, you I should do that, that first. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and put this citizen here. Why not? All right. Well, I guess I'll go uh, right after you. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Uh huh. And that's it. That's it for our actions. Right. So here we go. The scary part. Uh, do you have a plus in front of you? Uh, I don't no. think so. Can no. you see if I have heal? No, well, yours is recruit that. or transfigure. Transfigure. Okay, yeah. we can work that. We do have to increase our suspicion, however. So yeah. up by one. I don't like that. Are you in a zone? Yeah, you are. So you roll the die first. All right. So go ahead and set on, it down. The, okay. So that, that change something. Okay. <laughs> because I have to roll as well. Here, Deal. let's put it like right, All right there. Let's go for blinky eye. Blinky eye. Plus, Plus two. two. One, two, three, four. Five, Five, six. Six, how interesting. Your witch goes there. Your witch's auto is going. I should have taken that one that said don't let it happen. Uh, you should have. Oh, I'm oh, I'm toast. Wow. <laughs> hey, you might still win them back. Because if, <sighs> if either of these witches are innocent, you get the yeah. witch will go to you. Yeah, it's just, oh. This is the first time that um, one of our witches is, is getting captured, and what happens here is now your apprentice becomes your leader, yep. and your your uh, suspicion goes down by, by two. two. One, two. That's so kind of a something good, I guess. Yeah, yeah. less bad. Less yes, bad, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, well, I need to know now. I should have used my potion, because now I'm in trouble. Mm. Oh, I'm in big trouble. Elana's going. <laughs> Definitely. You need a blinky eye. I need a blinky eye. Plus one. Minus, Minus one. one. So what are you? So at four. four. Yeah, you still yeah, get it. Yeah, I still get it. One, two, three, four. Right on it. All right. So that happens. So it goes to below be auto as well. Yeah. So we're gonna have two witches. We're gonna have witches on trial this round and next. In season three and season four. Yes, mm -hmm. correct. Uh, okay. So this goes down. Randall gets moved over. Ooh, we were doing so well of <sighs> just know. avoiding being. I mean, it's because we what healed happens. at the same time. We couldn't heal on opposite. You didn't tell me. <laughs> uh, well. I, could, more witch I only had right one now. last turn to, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, that stunk, but that's that. That is the end. Uh, any end of... Any last words? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that's it. That is the end of the season. Yeah, we're going to have a trial. So before we do this, we're going to do this right this time, I'm going to tap my card. Yes. Healing dreams. So I can heal a remaining patient without using a potion or having to be adjacent. So I'm going to heal the uh, green one. Okay. Because... It'll lower your suspicion. It'll lower my suspicion, but oh, but if I go up here, I get a charm card. Wow. If I go up on pink, I'm going to heal this one. Oh, you're going to let the, the angry green yeah. get back into the circulation. Okay. I will. There you go. All right. So that the this hostile citizen is going to go into the crowd. It, it sounded more interesting that way. So I push up on, on pink, and this is going to allow me to take a charm. So I think I'm going to take uh, this one, just because we're going into the final round. It's just the beginning. After I lead a successful trial, so that assumes that that'll happen, right. uh, return all of my loyal citizens to the crowd instead of my supply. So I'm hoping that this happens this turn or this round. And if it doesn't, then I wasted I wasted a card. Okay. So there's that. Um, and at least I was able to push up on that. All right. So now we are truly at the end of season. Uh, this hostile citizen is going to go in here and this patient gets discarded because we did not... They didn't make we it. failed them. They have the plague. They didn't make it. Awful. Let's be honest. Now we're going to add additional hostile citizens. I have two lines. Uh, one. So, so three. three. And they're going to go straight into the bag. Yeah. All right. They're going to go straight into the bag. Get... We're going to have two trials today, folks. Uh, I need to get one back. I, I can't I can't lose. It's a tense day in town. I can't afford losing here. A lot of people are angry. There we go. They are angry. Can, should I draw for one? All right. Go, for the you other? just draw them all. I, I can't. You can't? I'm going to do them one by I'm one stressed. this time. Because one by gonna, one, that's right. It, it really just, matters. matters. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? No, uh, yeah. Here we go. Come on, yellow. 
Red. So I'll, I'll work with that. Oh my gosh. Red. Oh no. Oh no. Yellow, yellow. Yellow. Come on, yellow. How many spaces? Red, red, yellow. Oh my gosh, white. Yellow. Ooh. So you win that. Well, that means I'm, okay. Wait, we keep on going. <laughs> yes, yes. We're auto now. Yellow. Okay, I'm going to I am gonna grab a, a bunch and go one, yellow, two, white, three. White, okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Not looking good for me. Four, Purple, five, red. Purple, six. Monique is going to win this one. Do I? I think. Well, let's do this. Yeah, you are. One by one. Yeah, I think, I think so. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be... Uh, this trial first, one, two, three, four, minus two, that is a positive two. Yeah. And Naveen, you win Sen. I do, Sen. So Come first, me, Sen. two, four, six points six for you. Points. okay. And two points for me, please. Yeah, I'll give you two. Thank you. There you go. There's Sen. And then Congratulations, Sen. You are innocent. Yes. Good job, Sen. And yeah. then you get six. Yeah, so five plus one. Six. That's real nice. Yeah. Over it. here, we have one, two, three, minus one. So that is positive two. You're right, because these are zero. Mm -hmm. So um, I win auto, the one that I wanted. You're disloyal. How could you? He's so disloyal. Down with auto. Uh, my coven was just too good. Yeah. So um, I, I get four, four points, and I you get, get two. two. Okay. Can I give you a five? Sure. Thank you. And Here's then the one. I'll take your one. Yep. So yep. And then I get two points, you said? Yep. Yes, you Perfect. get two points. Awesome. And then, where's the bag? Uh, it's over here. So we do still have, let's let's do these ones first. We're going to put them back, back in the crowd. into the crowd. Only the colored ones that, that belong to us. Yes, the yeah. loyal citizens. Yeah. Okay, so then what's going to happen now is these three go back to your supply. My supply, that's right. These two go into the supply, and then um, mine goes back into the crowd because I didn't win this trial. Right. I'm going to tap just the beginning because I led a successful trial here in, in uh, trial chamber number two. So I can return all of my citizens back into the crowd instead of instead of the supply. So these two, good. we're going here. It's just timed um, just nicely, right. I suppose. Yeah. yeah, because it's going into the final round. Right. right, right, right. There you go. So trials are done. Okay. Uh, that was heated. Wow. Okay, so now we go ahead and, and uh, flush these charms. If you want to flip those over. Uh, yeah, I'll help out. All right, thank sure. you. Uh, we're gonna advance the season marker. We are going into summer. This is the final season. The new Witch it's Hunter. It's hot in town, so mm. people are extra angry. Witch and we have an additional Witch too. Hunter. Yeah, that's gonna go right here. We have five. Look at this board. Yeah. That's nasty. I don't know how many of these uh, witches are gonna are gonna last. Yeah, we'll hopefully see. I can get at least two in my in my coven. <laughs> don't raise any suspicion, Nivine. That's sure. all you have to do. Deal. All right, the moon marker goes back to one over here. May I have the first player marker, please? Yes. Popcorn there guy. Go, popcorn for guy. the final time. And then we can now rearrange our witches. So uh, I'm going to leave it like this. You're going to leave it like that? Mm -hmm. mm, I think I am going to rearrange them like this. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Because Randall's a big ask. Yeah, I guess I'll just do it like this. Yeah. So you still have the option. Yeah. But yeah. All right, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay, sounds good. We're gonna go into the final round now and we're gonna go ahead and do the preparation phase. All right, okay. now we are all set up. So we are going to start with turn one. We already did this. It's gonna yes. be move and heal. Move and heal. So now let's select our cards and I am I'm ready. Are you ready? What do I need here? Yes. Trans I'm trying to, bigger and... I'm gonna try to be as non-suspicious uh, sure. as possible. Okay, I'm ready. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. Transfigure. Transfigure. Oh, good. Okay, so we matched. That's good. But yeah, it's not it's not bad. We just don't lower our uh, suspicion. No. All right. Um, let's go ahead and take our turns. So I am going to move. I will move one. Oh, wow, this is the only hideout that doesn't have a witch. Mm. It's so far away. Yeah, really far. Yeah, awful. All right, I'm gonna move over there, and. I think I'm gonna stay there. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to replace my pawn with my cat. Nice. So I can't use, oh no, I can't use auto. <laughs> I mean. Interesting, yeah. okay. But you're a cat, so you don't have to worry about autos. Sure. Up right now. But I do pick up all of my cards. Yes. So that is the point nice. of that action, truly. Mm -hmm. All right, your turn. Okay, so Hazel is gonna be covered up. We are gonna not forget to switch out my fox. And then I'm going to move uh, the one, up to five because it's the one plus the extra four. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I will hang out right over there. Moving on. So we both match because yep. we played Transfigure. And uh, I actually go up here. Nice. And, oh, that means I could go up one more, but I have to pay ingredients. Two ingredients to do because it. Because I don't have 
Oh no, I do have Randall. But oh, Randall's but he's not there. In, not in play. <gasps> what have I done? Randall. Randall. That was a mistake. Okay. Uh, you also go up, I've right? I've made many mistakes. There yeah, you go. Here's you your go. crystal. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, if I can go back in time, there are definitely a few moves there. Definitely. That I wouldn't have done. Same. All right. Well, we raise suspicion, but we don't yes, actually do anything because we are animals and nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nobody notices us. I am not going to stay a cat. Okay. So that was a very short lived stint as my feline companion. <laughs> I will be staying a fox. You gonna stay a fox? I'm going to stay a fox, I believe. Suit yourself. <laughs> going yeah. to round two. What is okay. our next Septima token? All right, Septima, tell me what it is. It is Brew. Brew. Okay, Brew time. Very interesting. All right, well, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to pick up my entire hand. Oh, yes. Because I you can't take it. Yeah. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. All right. Yep. Ready? Yes. One, two, three, reveal. Recruit. I'm healing. You're healing. I'm going oh, you're going to get. Heal. Oh, okay. Um, why? I don't. Oh, you're not a cat anymore. No, yeah, I'm not a cat anymore. Oh, like, oh, Heel is not one of the cat's things. Fortes. Yeah, not, not their forte. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so you revealed, and I'm going to take my turn. I'm going to take my one move over this way. Oh, no. And I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal both of those patients because oh, I have blue no. potions left. So I'm healing these two. That's not good. And um, uh, I will not be doing this. I'm just going to go ahead and strip them off. Okay. I didn't do it this action. Okay. Yeah. So I definitely going to, I'm going to move one blue up, which is not going to get me anything because all my loyal citizens are already in the crowd. The thing is I can either move it up again to get two crystals or I can move up the green because of Edith. If you move up the green, you get an extra seven points. I do. Because it's another row. Right. Yeah. I'll move up the green. Yeah. So yeah, Edith lets me uh, use move up one of a different color instead of what I what Plus I Plus you've drawn suspicion so, right now. You, you've drawn a double suspicion here. So by moving up the green, you'll lose one to go yeah. back up two. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna go up two. Um, I'm wondering if I should, let's see, this is a second turn. I am, how far? One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna spend my potion. My potion lets me lower my suspicion by two or move a witch hunter to any empty hut and set it inactive. So yeah, so can you please move that witch yeah. hunter here, here and it gets set to inactive. inactive. No worries. So, and then I, since I matched with my heal action, I can put a citizen from the crowd into any chamber. <laughs> so I guess I might as well put it into this chamber. Because, yeah. We didn't introduce Dragomir, by the way, oh, yeah. but we're not going to be able to use his ability anyway. Um, I believe it's if you if you participated in a trial and you have at least one of your loyal citizens in it, then mm. you can go down on suspicion. But again, yeah. we're not going to be able to use that ability. So that's me. I okay. goes to you. Uh, simple. Uh, add a loyal citizen to the crowd. Not as uh, cool as whatever you just did. Did you? And that's the recruit. That okay. is the recruit. Yep. All right. You didn't want to move. Uh, I think I will hang out right there. Hang out right there? Yeah. All right. Well, then we are going to, are we going to push up on the tracks? It's going to cost you two resources to do uh, it. I don't want to, do I want to spend my two resources? Okay. It better be worth it. Actually, I don't know if I want to go up into the blue. Mm. I may or may not have something on my book of divination that requires uh, me to be in this column of the right track, yeah, but that'll be tough then. let's just see. It would only be worth it if I wanted either one of these. Yeah. Each patient healed also gain, no, it's like too late. Also gain one immediate reward from the bottom row of the patient track, so one of these three, or return to the bag and redraw all non-loyal citizens. Whoa, this is before scoring a trial. And you gain one wisdom for each hostile citizen returned. I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take some chances. I'm gonna spend my crystals. This is two points. Yeah, I'm gonna spend them. I'm taking some chances here, but uh, I guess, so you move uh, diagonal left? Oh my gosh. That means I'm not going to be able to score that. Oh, oh well. okay. Yeah, I'm taking some major chances. So I'm going diagonal left, and I'm going to take this. Just because it sounds interesting. <laughs> Confusion. So we'll, we'll see if this pans out You're later. You're charming it up, huh? Well, it's just the one. The other ones are no longer active. Hmm. So then we move on, and we actually uh, earn our suspicion. I matched with Septim over here, so I go up two. One, two. Um, I'm a fox. <laughs> So then don't you go down one? I do. Thank you. That's great. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I no longer have my witch hunter there, but now a witch hunter moves over. Yes. So it's going to be this one that going one. on over. All right. Oh, okay. scary. Okay. And now this, this one's going to wake up. up. Okay. So let's go to turn. Oh, wait. Sorry. Did you want to turn into a witch again? Mm. I don't know. That's such a hard decision. That's actually a, a much harder decision than it seems. So we just finished the second turn. Is that what it was? We have three more turns we have left? three more. You have three more actions to play. 
Okay. All right, I'm gonna unbox Tab. myself. Gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so this is gonna come and swap. All right, I mean, you get you need to get really lucky. I just need to. Oh man. Okay. All right. You okay? Yeah, I'm nervous. I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. All right, let's go into turn three. Okay. Uh, what do we got? All right, this is the part that I'm scared. Okay. Right. That's right. All right, so let's go ahead and choose our cards. Okay. I think I know what I'm doing. Yep, same. Ready? Mm. One, two, three, reveal. Collect. B. You're playing to the peeps. I am. I was hoping that we wouldn't match because this is like real danger time and you wouldn't hold on to the witches that you have. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. I am going to move. I'm just going to step over one this way. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do my plea. So I can put a citizen from the crowd into any uh, trial chamber. So I'm just going to put my... Loyal really citizen going for right Dragomir, there. huh? Yeah, Dragomir looks like a fine addition to our coven. Sure. Although I do, I do miss Elana, but I already had a loyal citizen yeah. here. So. I mean, you can only house four, so. Yes, yeah. true. I don't get to do my collective bonus. Okay, so uh, collect all lunar ingredients adjacent, but I'm gonna tap Blessed Day. Collect all lunar and non-lunar ingredients from adjacent hexes. I'm just gonna collect everything. Nice. So let's go ahead and collect uh, two herbs, a Mushroom and a blueberry. Blue. You just collect everything. That's not your next two, yeah, huh? Two, yeah, two herbs yeah. and mushroom and blueberry. Very good. It's a lot of stuff. Mushroom and a blue. And then I do have Sen, who allows me to uh, convert uh, two of these into crystals. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and turn these two into two crystals. All right. All you go ahead and oh, put yeah, them over there. Yeah. Here are your crystals. Thank you. Oh, you got some points in crystals and there. Sen. All done? Uh, that is it. Yep. Okay. So nobody matched no match. from what I understand. So we're going to keep on going. Um, nobody raised suspicion, and that's it. All right, then, moving on to the penultimate turn of the game. <laughs> penultimate turn. Of huh? the game All this right. time. Brew out right over. What is it? Oh, Plea. I already played that. I mean, you don't want to be captured. Maybe. All right, are you ready? End up in jail is what her card says. I'm what? trying to work towards my book of divinations. Interesting. What? <laughs> You'll find that out real soon, Nibby. You know what you're doing? Yep. You don't want to match? Uh, I'm pretty close to this guy right here. He's <laughs> a little nervous. I was just joking. Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three, reveal. Remember. I'm doing the right. Okay. Right. Okay. So, um,. I'm just gonna go up on this track. I really did it because I wanted to match with Septima. Oh. But I do get to advance one step on the right track. You I'm gonna go to match with that Septima. Way. And I also needed to get into this column for reasons. Are you in that column? I am now. I think so, because this looks like it's in between. Oh, it's a border one, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I get to also refresh a charm or gain any one ingredient. Oh, no. Where's that charm? The one that gives you three points? Yeah. 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 Where is it? It's probably the one in the this bottom one, right. Just the beginning. Oh, oh no, no, not, not That's that one. Too good. It's this one. Wow. Army of Justice. So gain three wisdom. I don't have any of my loyal citizens. So I'm going to tap it. Sure. So can I have three uh, yeah. wisdom, please? Can I give you a five, perhaps? Sure. Okay. There you go. Wow. You really thank got you, you, you got 12 points out of that. I just kept on tapping my charm. You can you can play the right, and it's a collective bonus. Yeah. So you just use your charms to your advantage. I should have probably been doing something like that. Wait, I did not move. I was supposed to move. I intended on moving. That's yeah. quite important. <laughs> so now I'm done. Okay, cool. Wow, very good. Uh, perform you. the main ability of a card in my discard pile. I'm going to be performing Recruit because oh, okay. I would like to um, have a chance by putting one out here. <laughs> Some sort of chance. Yeah. All right. All right, done with your turn? Yeah, I'm not going to be moving, by the way, on that. I, I don't think there's a danger for what I'm going to play next. Okay. Yep. So then we move on to E. Okay. Uh, I matched, but nope. <laughs> nope. We're moving on. I don't have the right. I don't think the right is on... Right it's not board. on there, no. Yeah. Okay, so then I have to raise my suspicion by two. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a lot of suspicion. And that's that. We skip this, but we do add, or this this uh, witch hunter moves to this hideout. So mm -hmm. I can only hide for so long um, until I'm in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that. We're going to go into the final turn of the game. Final turn. What do we have with Septima? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Septima. This is going to come out over, and we have Recruit. Recruit. All right, let's choose our card. Unfortunately, um, I'm not going to be able to meet my big 20-pointer on my Book of Divinations. Okay. I'm a little bit sad about it. All right, ready? I am ready. 
One, two, three. Rue. Remember. Remember. So I'm just going to remember one of my previous abilities. Okay. Uh, Which one? Making it real simple, real easy. So I don't, there's no point in moving now because okay. yeah, I'm not yeah. raising any suspicion, but I'm going to remember my plea action. And now that I'm seeing the status, the state of the board, I am so upset that I didn't untap my, uh, <laughs> the heal the my, patient. my heal the patient one because I didn't realize that you weren't going to heal these. Yeah, because you gained three points yeah. for the one you got versus, versus moving these. up. Yeah, yeah that would two crystals better. and a five differential from uh, four to nine. Yeah. What a bummer. Yeah, Anywho, you're right. I'm going to remember my plea. So I get to put a citizen from the crowd um, into any trial chamber. So I'm just going to lock in Dragomir. Yeah, or close to locking in unless you pull three reds. Yeah, Yeah, but it doesn't really matter too much. because I can't score all four of these, mm -hmm. but that's okay. it. I don't get to collect the bonus. Gotcha. Okay, uh, brew up to three potions. So I am going to spend everything in brew. So I'm going to brew only these types because I want to get points for doing it. Okay. So the first one I'm going to brew is going to be the... Um, calming potion which is the berries and the uh greens okay so that's going to be just know i'm going to get nine points total i'll grab them all at one time uh the next one i'm going to do is going to be the ritual oil which is going to be the root and a crystal so root and crystal okay and then the last one is going to be just two crystals Really, for any one of these, I can do a calming potion. How about that? Okay. I, I Which one of the three? Can uh, you just review? Just a ritual uh, calming potion twice. All okay, right. I think these are it. Those are them? Yep. Okay. Yes. Perfect. There you so go. Let's go there. And then I get nine or ten, nine points. So I'm going to take a ten and give back one. All right. I think that's it. That, that was, was our final that, action. Yeah. No, nobody raised any suspicion. Nope. We were a little bit... Uh, 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 nervous about that in the end there. I mean, I was way too close to this guy and I knew I needed to get some potions. I actually wanted to raise suspicion because one of my Book of Divination uh, scoring conditions, which I'm not going to be able to score, okay. is having at least seven. a seven. That's why I was really trying to push up on this. Wow. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the, the cards anymore to be able to match. Sure, and yeah. I couldn't brew anything. So oh. it is what it is. Okay. All right, so now we have reached the end. The final trial. Yes, we're the, at the end of the season. Uh, anybody have end of season stuff? No, uh, no, no, I don't have any. Okay, so this doesn't matter anymore. And uh, let's go ahead and add some hostile citizens to the yeah, crowd. So, I have one, two, three. So four total, because one four here. Four total. Oh, boy. This oh. is actually a lot. Naveen thinks that he wasn't doing well, but the game is really close. Getting those nine points right there felt pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna put these four into the bag. Right? Yeah, nine points, four? Uh, for brewing three of uh, these types of potions. Oh, yeah, yeah, three, two, yeah. Three. yeah. that was... Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you want to do, yeah. definitely. At the very end there. Mm -hmm. And I might have a reason to brew those potions. <laughs> Perhaps. From my divination. All right, Monique. I'm bad luck, so go ahead. Oh, you're in me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this trial just needs three. Come three on. More. So let's go. One. Right. Okay, that's going to be successful no matter what. Two. Three. Wow. wow. So you're going to score 10 points here. Yeah, I guess so. That's really good. And then... In a Come on, lot of I need some yellows. We've got one, yes, two. Yes. Uh, how many yellows do you have in here? I have four. Please go more Three, yellow. Three, four. Okay, that's okay. Oh, I'm in there. Please, no more red. Five, no. six. Hold on. No. I'm gonna help you out here, Naveen. Okay. So, I can, I can return to the bag and redraw all non-loyal oh, citizens. Score points. Wow. But I only gain one wisdom for each hostile citizen, so it's just gonna be worth three, three points, points for that's me to do good. that. Do I want to do that? Because I'm thinking that in the bag, it's just all you. Because right now, it, this is losing. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tap. I'm not, I'm not using my charm. Horrible. <laughs> I'm going to just, that is it. We've uh, sealed our, your fate is I sealed. Drawn. Huh? I want to see what it would have been. Huh. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. I think this is better because, Shoot. because if I, if I do that, then I run the risk of you you know, filling that, you'll get points and a Lana, and that gives you a third scoring criteria. No, we, we want that to fail. That needed to be good for yeah, me. This I, is... Yeah. So let's go ahead and resolve Dragomir over here. So this is clearly a, a win. Straight domination. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So 10, ten points. Ten. Thank you. I get to take Dragomir. And uh, for the purposes of the end game, these are all just going to stay here for right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get stayed because uh, there's some end game uh, scoring criteria in terms of that. Uh, over here, it's uh, one, two, three, minus three. So this is zero. Mm. Um, Elana gets gets put in prison. Ugh, I'll miss you. She was part of my original coven. I could have really used her. <laughs> but you get uh, two points, and I get one. Uh, yeah, two points to one. Wow, that is not good. Not good. Ugh, how interesting. How interesting at the end there. <sighs> not 
Um, and then we, we do get the rest of the bag. Yeah, so the rest of the bag comes back out because some people might have scoring criteria. Yeah. So the hostile, just ignore the hostile citizens for now. Yep. All right, and that is the end of the game. You technically finish out the end of season stuff, but yep. it's all pretty much prep for the next season. Right. So we're going to go ahead and go into end game scoring. First off, you gain one additional wisdom for your potions and crystals. So I have four so total. Looks like so you get four. I'll take yeah, I just want to get five. more yeah. tokens. I'll take a five and give back one. Sure. Okay. You're actually going to get an extra five points because you have the most citizens in the crowd. Oh, yeah. So you get five points there. Yeah, because technically this these would have booted here and you also would have booted here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. That is because true. Of a, we have to, because of a loss there. Yeah. yeah, that's true. We have to fully resolve that. The right. only difference in the final trial is these don't go back into my supply. They stay in the chamber. Right. So then you get five points and I get three. You do so get thanks three. thanks for that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I came up on three points there. Yep. Yeah. So here's your one, two, three, and I'll Thank take a you. fiver. Yeah, that's that's a big one. Now we score our patient track. Okay. So do you want to go first? Uh, sure. So I have four times three, so it's 12, plus seven times two, it's 14. So, because you uh, have two completed rows. Yeah, so 26. So 26. All right. I have nine plus eight, because these both are worth four each. That's so 17 plus uh, 14. Okay. Right? So that's what, 31? 30, you have 31? 31, is that yeah. What it is? 17 plus 14? Uh, yes, that's yeah, 31. I think that's 31. 31. Okay, here's your one, and let me get you three tens. That's, Thank you. Doesn't sound as nice as mine. Gosh. Very good. I wasted my crystals on that charm. You did, yeah. <laughs> oh, which well. is points. It yeah. was fun to, to try. To try. Yeah. All right, and last but not least, we are going to score our book of divinations before we count up our final tally of points. So Monique is allowed to score four because she has all four windows covered. I won't be able to, but at least it's nice knowing that I can. Sure. So you would like to score yours first? Sure. Okay, so I really wanted that one over there. <laughs> really wanted it bad. Sorry. Because um, I would have been able to score my 20, my 15, and my 10. Oof. I could no longer score my 10. That would have been rough for So uh, my 20 is heal five patients. So I have uh, six patients total healed. So okay. I'm going to get 20 there. Okay. Uh, plus have at least three potions uh, at the end of the game. So I have four potions. So I'm going to get an extra 35 points. Yeah, so that. it's 20 and the 15. Yeah, so I would have loved okay. an extra 10. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, 15. Okay. I'm sorry, uh, 30. Uh, no, 35. 35. 35. 30, <laughs> 30 plus 5. Okay, as for me, uh, I can score all four, but again, I was kind of mentioning it earlier, I had did not reach seven on my suspicion. That was tough yeah. to try to manage. But I did treat three of the pink, the blindness patients. Okay. So that's 15. Yep. I also have three skulls, so that's mm -hmm. 10. And my right token is in the red. It's kind of in the in-between. Yeah. So it's I think we're going to say that it's in the red, right? Does that count? It looks like it's on the border. Yeah, okay. it looks good. So then that's going to be 10 plus 15, 25 plus 5. That's 30. 30. Okay, you want to add 30 to your final score? All right, and I believe that's it. So we're going to go ahead and count up our wisdom tokens, and then we'll get back to you. All right, I think final scores are in. Are okay. you ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. 99. Oh, no. How? It came down to a draw in the end. That oh. was so close. Oh my gosh! If I okay, <laughs> if I win that one, right? If if one of my yellows comes out, or even if it's anything, then I get an extra two points for that. Plus, you get one point, and I would get Alana to come down here, and then I would be able to score that extra ten you points. Right there. I would have won. Wow. wow. Okay, so that was the game-winning decision. Not you having my confusion points. was was the right move. You, wow. You would have had an extra. Four, four points, at least four, and then this might have switched. You might have got the extra two. So you might have got an extra six. Yeah, who can tell? Yeah, wow. Wow. wow so wow, if wow. you didn't hear, the scores were 99, 99. to 106. 106, so wow. Seven point I felt like you were you were dominating me in that game, but I don't wow, know. I mean, I was out. getting like three points here and there. Yeah, it's not. It's not. A, I mean, the, really, it's all in this kind of end game. I did. We didn't do the ritual, the right, the right track very well. Um, yeah, uh, you did pretty well. I mean, you were able to untap and get more stuff and use it. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. But I think it was more in playing my right card. Uh, if I could did, go yeah. back in time, I would have done the matching a little bit better, the hand management a little bit better, just so yeah. I could score those twenty points. There was definitely, that is killer. Yeah, there was definitely some times where I, I there was one time I turned away from being a fox when I was the fox one turn too early because uh. my fox ability says if I use the move, uh, I can go to an adjacent space and pick up um, for free a skull. Oh, okay. And, 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 you know, you would avoid detection. I needed a skull to make a potion, so I then I had one less resource. So when I did my brew action, I only created one potion instead mm -hmm. of two, and it was just like it threw everything off just a little bit. 
Wow. Yeah, that was tough. Yeah. I, I definitely feel like uh, the more we play it, the better we get. You feel? Totally. Yeah. yeah. It's one, of, it's one yeah. of those games. Yeah. Uh, next time, I definitely want to try to do the right track a little bit more. That that kind of haunts me. You want to get to the end. Because huh? I feel like that, if you can combo with that well, you can do some good stuff. You can stuff. do some good stuff, yeah. Especially with getting more charms and uh, being able to tap them even more. Mm -hmm. So anyway, good yeah. job. Well played, yeah. So there you go. That is a two-player playthrough of Septima. Again, this is Mind Clash Games' newest title. It's currently on Kickstarter. If you're interested in checking out the campaign, we've included a link to the Kickstarter down below. Mm -hmm. But before then, if you have any questions about anything that you saw today, just leave a comment down below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.